Snow Billy is, well, I, should I say once was, I would say you're a typical bad guy. You know, coming from my circumstances where I come from, my environment, and the peoples I was raised by, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, overall, I'm human. I'm allowed to make mistakes. And Amen. I'm allowed to correct. So overall, I'm a person of, you know, all these principles and certain understandings. Not all, but some. Right. Okay. So I wanted you to elaborate more because I told the people I'm a talking ass nigga. And they know, like, they're probably like, this is the quiet I've ever been. So if you see a few little awkward moments where I'm paused. I'm more like let you to elaborate more, but I want to run down to my questions if you don't mind now. Because, you know, I mean, this is your platform. I'm going to give you the opportunity to, you know, ask what you need to ask, man. And, I'm gonna and give you the I want I wanted to give you praises, bro. Like, I don't typically shout out homie Gully TV. We're not, we not the best of friends like that, but I know of him. And I seen how you handled that interview. And, like, I see how most dudes with your – background you know your celebrity status now i know you don't want to hear it but you are what you are and you held it down like a hundred bro like you made me feel like all these celebrity type niggas ain't the same so that's why i, I broke these questions down because i know you can handle yourself now go ahead bro well you know you know it's interesting that you mentioned that because you know like you know i mean I've been like I, you know, I've, I've been a, um, I've been attached to a lot of different people in certain industries, you know, such as you know, like the hip hop industry, the sport industry, the model right. industry, you know, certain figures. So even when I was around them, you know, I never like, you know, the celebrity thing is cool, but you know, it's like a nigga ain't never want the celebrity status. You know what I'm saying? It's more mm, so. Go in on that, OG. It's, it's more so. It's more so for the growth I bring to the to the people's and the environment than just a celebrity because that's why I make myself like 90% accessible, which, you know, a lot of people feel that I shouldn't be, but you know, like you've seen, I did the, my first interview. I ain't go to no big platform. When I had right. platforms, I could have reached out to, you know what I'm saying? But I rather give a person that's on the rise or the underdog the opportunity to get established. You feel me? Because, that's the kind of individual I am. If I have celebrity status, I'm going to use it to shine on others so others could become celebrities as well or whatever they want to come, you know, by using me or using my platform, you know, to reach the platforms they want to reach. You know what I'm saying? So, right. you know, it's cool. It's cool, though. You know what I mean? I know you felt like, oh, shit, like a lot of people, they DM me, and they be like, damn, my nigga, I ain't know you was going to respond back. Right, right. That's facts. That's that's me, OG. Right. You know, nah, but a lot of people, man, you know, like, yo, my nigga, I ain't know you was going to be spawned back. Like, my nigga, I'm human, my nigga. Like, I've I been, you got to understand, man, I've I, I, I been around a lot of money all my life. You feel me? Right. I've been around a lot of money. I done got a lot of money. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't live. I didn't live the celebrity lifestyle before I knew what the industry was. You know what I mean? Right. And OG, mm -hmm. no me, no me to cut you off, but everybody in the chat was wishing you well from the other day. So we hope everything is cool. And, and yeah, yeah all... everything good, you know. You know, I be smoking on them runs, man. That shit have a nigga too high. So... I'm about to... so... I, I hope you don't pay us no mind. This is a hip hop platform, and we smoke over here. So I'll get to the smoking yeah. later, cause a lot of people they see many of the interviews of you, right? And we know Six Nine is home. Recently, Six Nine asked permission to go record music in his backyard. How you feel about that? Before we go more on this interview, as far as there's a lot of dudes locked up behind. In fact, I'm going to leave that one alone and go to the the situation because I see a lot of dudes don't want to ask you the hard-hitting questions. And let's just let's just say it off the rip right now. You made 6 9 You found 6 9 You had a plan for 6 9 and it was not this super gangster tough guy. Can you tell the right. people what got, was you know, the original plan for 6 9 when he came out? See, you mean when he came out now? No, the very first time when he came out, when he oh, was with Trippy time. Red. Oh, yeah, I figured, I figured it was in regards to that. Um, you know, he had a, you know, his original manager was a guy named Chris. You know, real low key guy. Right. CEO cool, Chris. Cool guy. No, 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 no. Not CEO Chris. Black Chris. Oh, thank you he for his explaining. CEO Chris is a black Chris. Black Chris was his original manager. Okay. Black Chris, you know, he he knew how to do things in certain kind of fields. You know what I mean? 
and I know how to do things in certain kind of fields to make right. the situation greater. You know, with me and Black Chris, we was able to get a sit down and get a nine million dollar deal structure just mm. night after the Romo video. You feel me? Who right. what, what artists get a sit down and get a four million dollar deal because he was getting four million and BBA. That's unheard of. Up. That's unheard of, man. Taking level five, right? But what I'm saying is that you know, you know the the you know we we you know oh man I don't like take your having, time having having Black Chris you know his original manager you know on deck. You know, it was like a match made in heaven because with his low key and knowledge, man, and my creative skills, things was going great. You know what I'm saying? The plans, right. everything was great, bro. Remember, I got um I got I got shot on January 19th, going into my birthday, the 20th. The deal was supposed to go through on February 5th. I never got the chance to make the deal. While I was on Ragged Island, shot up, I had all kind of is Zex calling my lawyer like, yo, can he still make it happen from where is he at? I mean, we still willing to do the deal. But at that time, niggas was already fooled by a fake 1.5 million that never existed that mm. they thought they was going to get. You know what I'm saying? You know, however, man, this shit crazy, my nigga. Like, you know, this shit is crazy, man. You know, and then, you know, being that 6'9", was so hungry to become Treyway, and I'm trying to tell him, yo, listen, this ain't the route to go. We could give you the image, then right. from there we gotta do a quick crossover. You did what I'm saying? Right. And but you know, he was so hungry to be part of the gang because once he was able to come into the dog pound and see the activity that was going on and the love that was being shared amongst each other, he gravitated to that. Right. And you know, that made his mind think that this was the way of life. You know what I'm saying? Which is, don't get me wrong, in some situations it is, but not for where the levels we're about to go in right. such a fast time. You did know what I'm saying? It was fast. It wasn't Real like, fast. <laughs> right, right. See, it wasn't like it's... Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Hey, we need this movie, but I'll get to that. That shit went real right. fast. You feel me? Like, you know, you know, ain't like it took years or crazy months you know, it took weeks, my my dude, and he was able to get a sit down and talk nine million dollars, man. You know, this now he just got ten million. Right. So that's why I feel the way I feel. Like I talk my shit because if you ain't being put in that, it's a bracket, man. And like when you being offered nine million and ten million dollar deals, man, you won't you ain't trying to understand what a three million, like three million, four million. Yeah, that? fuck out of here with that, right? Like, you know what I mean? But if you started off in the five men of the bracket and you get offered of that then you understand you know you understand the levels but you know um you know like one of our big strategies was the overseas tour the, um that was big for us you know what i'm saying to have can, can you explain some about it like why is it well, big explain to the well, people the who time, don't know at the time once after like a month after the gomo video we was already establishing getting merchandise and everything ready for the overseas tour we was coming out with the 69 billies a whole nother group that was six nine was originally supposed to be with. Right. You did what I'm saying? And they was gonna come out as a as 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 a crew. You did? But you know, things got, you know, fucked up. And when I you know, like people don't understand, like, you know, when they see his antics, you gotta understand this kid, you know, he he wanted this life. You know what I'm saying? Right. He wanted this being, he wanted this beholding, he wanted this life, and he was willing to do anything to get this life, man. Even, even, even had my own crew, my own crew turned on me for this kid because he promised them the world. You know, being in that kind of situation and being them kind of numbers is being out there, he promised some niggas, you know, millions of dollars if they remove me because I'm the only person that stopped him from becoming tradeway or any kind of affiliation with the set. You feel me? Right. So, you know, here he go now. He know I'm not with it. I'm not. I'm not jacking the situation that bringing you home and all that. I'm not, it's too much going on right now. Right. But you know, when you got six, seven votes against my one vote, it's only going to stand but for so long, especially when big numbers come and play to little minded people. You feel me? Since you talked about little minded people, um, I kind of, I'm going to skip some of the questions. I'll get to the questions later because this is me knowing some of your history. So let me help the people. Now, you say the crew. 
the greediness and we know the things behind the scenes, the pressure they put once you got hit up and got out the way. Now, well, to the people who don't know is Billy went right back in the can when he got hit up. He didn't even get time to heal right properly. So when you got out the way, is it fair to all the dudes looking out there? We know what we'll do when we get a bag. But can we say they really dropped the ball and messed everything up with, with the wave that was going on? Say it again. As far as you, we know what the the Treyway crew, the, as far as the entertainment, how they dropped the bag with the six nine situation. We know you had a master plan in order. You had a strategy right. that was winning. We never seen somebody got big that quick, bro. See, and when I understand, listen, listen, this is what happened, Mike. Right? And I can't say too much because there's a lot of it in this right, book. Right, right, right. Watch what you say. Watch it. We'll get to the book. We'll get to the book. It's, it's, it's a lot in this book. So it's a, I can't say too much. Right. You know what I'm saying? But right. um, where we is that? Okay, oh, hold on. Let me help you out. You got to understand, before before 6 9 even came on board, when we were still affiliated with the whole Bird Game movement, we was repping BBA. You know, BBA is, is, is the set. BBA, BBA yeah. Records is... Is is the set like we got we got artists RP Vex we got all kinds of artists that come RP Vex so so you know being that you know we like yo we the new death row and that's what I brought to the table like my nigga we the new death row because of the logo like my nigga we the new death row out here right. my nigga y'all was the new death row. we follow protocol nigga you right know what I'm saying those those is my slogan those that's what I taught Shadi. You know, see, niggas don't. I, well, I kind of explain mm, go in. that how the relationship happened with Six Nine and Shot. You got to understand, right? The dog pound is a place where homies come to to get back on their feet, shelter. You know, several reasons homies come to the dog pound. Some homeless, like Shotty's situation, he was homeless. So the dog pound is a place for homies that's homeless. Right. So Takashi was homeless. So the dog pound and several other homies there was homeless. Not saying they ain't have nowhere to go, but being there, you able to probably find your way. You might get up with another homie that's getting money out of town. You might link up with another homie that's doing something over here. So when you at the home base of the dog pound, you able to move better than going probably where your aunt lived, your grandmother. And now being that shoddy in 6 9 was at the dog pound together, Six nine came comfortable under Shadi. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Because Shadi is the next big homie in line there. So he, me? so six nine gradu gravitated right. towards him even more once you got out the way. Yeah, because that's that's who he's taken to now. I didn't talk Shadi this over the years before we even had an artist popping. We the new death row. So now me and that I me and that I taught Shadi all this over the years. Once six nine came and playing the plans we had to do, everything was already in play. It was just let them follow the protocol. Right. Once you know everything got lit, and once things got lit, gang was behind them and to the roof we went. Like, you know what I mean? It was it was uh, you know, it was through the roof. But for right. all the antics, the antics was a lot of his own being. You got a man speaking to you. Can you put your I think your phone going on. Look the man in the eyes. Hold on, Shadi. I think your phone going on. Hold on. I've had 15 charges brought across me. And I cut the book off his cheek right here. Gave him 17 stitches. I'm worried. He's Is that your phone, Shadi? <laughs> Hang on right quick. I think I uh, like somebody's uh, uh, phone would just went on. So I'm trying to see who got. You check your phone. I think it's picking it up. The audio. All right, hang on. You ain't safe yet, boy. Hold on. Oh, I'm, I'm embarrassed, OG. You know what it was? I invited a few heads who so hyped to see you, and they actually hopped in the room too. But I'm gonna put them on the back burner right now because. You got people in the chat who wanted you to elaborate on your book. Can you elaborate? I got questions that are not in order, and I don't want it to be in no particular orders because I looked at all your interviews because people seen a lot of your interviews, and it's a good thing because you need to go around so they can know this story. But before I hit my next questions, people in the comments was like, what's the name of your book, and what made you made this book? Like, I honestly wanted to know, but I didn't want to be no fan exactly. nigga on the phone with you. Like, what made you write all this? Because niggas got to understand the structure of it is a lot that came. You see this kid? 
You got to right. understand it was four labels, man. See that? Right. You at the very top. I mean, the labels, though. You had BBA Records, Treyway, AP, and Jack Boys. All this is what he went through. You got... To understand him, you have to understand his book and understand everything that took place. Like, niggas don't Word. understand the shootout, what happened out Nicki Minaj and Kanye West in Hollywood. Niggas don't understand who they was targeting. Niggas don't understand right. that. Niggas don't understand the real beef behind this shit. The real fall. You feel what I'm saying? That's why it's called the rise and fall. You feel me? A Billy Badass Records of Trey Wayne Entertainment, my nigga, because this shows you the, the, the stuff that the media can't tell you, my nigga. You hear me? Y'all could. I'll be give y'all links to go order your book because it's not I can't released yet. I, right. I can't do nothing right now. And to after um right now we still got some things um um scheduled with Penguin House Publishing right now. So Penguin House Publishing is um they involved right now heavy. So nothing can't really happen for like another four days. So right. I don't even have my nigga. We've been sitting on it for a whole year. But you know, legal legal situations. Well, we're gonna get to the legal situations now. We know with the book, with every good book, along comes a movie. That's been since the beginning of time. When you have a book, a good, great book, to my people who read novels or whatnot, you go, you get inspired, and you're like, man, I, man, I, I want to see a movie of this. Now, with the documentary, because documentaries are close enough to movies. We know there's ball players behind the scenes offering you ball figures or whatever. Now, with this lawsuit that came in out of nowhere, you feel what I'm saying? Out the woodwork. Has that stopped what you got going on behind the scenes or has it only helped more what you got going on behind the scenes with the lawsuit? And we'll get more. I want, well, can you get into the lawsuit situation? What you can talk about? Mm, well, um, it didn't stop anything. It's just more money been off it you know what i'm saying so things won't go through right you know more money been off it. a little more money you know been off it you know what i mean but um nah it ain't it ain't it, it can't stop nothing right but but yeah like the documentary that's already done you know that's done you know what i mean the documentary done the book is done all the work is done the only thing that's not done is the documentary on this you hear me in the movie you what I'm show, show them the book again. I want them to see a clear picture of it. Make sure we, we let them see that right quick. Word. I'm going to put it on the screen, too. I got a picture of it. Just want them to see it. Hey, that cover look clean, bro. Not pulling your car. That's that's yeah, something I'll capture your attention right shout there. Pay, shout Payment House Publishing out, man. They did their thing, man. Shout out to Payment House Publishing. Now, I want to get... With the book, I want to get to the book and everything you got going on but i want people to know your mind I, I just want i like i like just talking to you because you seem like an official real nigga with the frank stan terminology how that came about because that caught my attention like you was going around and we're gonna get to the ogs of new york i was just chilling one day and i've been know of you and you just came out nigga eat a frank nigga and we just started hey, saying that shit everywhere over here now yeah that shit that shit is all over the world my nigga right a nigga, uh, uh, well, excuse my language, man, but yo, some dude. Nah, you go with your language. Feel free how you want to talk, bro. Hey, yo, some dude, some dude must have looked at my um subscribers on my new YouTube page, Snow Pictures, no Snow Vision Pictures on YouTube. Take your time, give it correctly, and we'll put it in the description Snow too a little bit later. Vision Pictures, that's my new page, right? So the dude, the dude said, yo. This dude, I think, got like 32 subscribers. Now nah, we'll, we'll, we'll get it up 500 right, or more in like, less like, than an hour. So, so check what he's trying to do. Check this shit. You know, fucking cornball, man. He say, um, <laughs> I say, he say, um, yeah, real life Frank head nigga, though, but 100% Frank head all day. There's a Frank head born every second. <laughs> this shit had never stopped, man. <laughs> Frank head, the Frank head virus is mm. one being born right now as, as we speaking. You ain't lying, my Frank nigga. Head? Right. I'm pretty right. sure. I'm pretty sure Frank had being born because off the bat you giving me this interview, but you really giving it to the people, bro. I'm blessed, but I want the people to know, and I'm gonna throw you a little more curveball before we get back, because there's certain things I want to get out the way now. I noticed you mentioned Jimmy Henchman and certain people's interview, and I know a lot of people claim they don't fuck with Jimmy, but I know I do, not just because the Haitian connection or nothing like that. I like niggas' story. 
I like niggas who come from the mud. And let me throw this out. Did you come from Arkansas? Yeah, I mean, no, I come from Brooklyn, but I went down to Arkansas because I was right. born from St. Murder from New York when I was a juvenile. So to avoid going to juvenile, my people sent me down to Little Rock. And when I got down there, shit was worse than where I left. Can you elaborate but, some on that? If you if you want to, we could continue or not. Because that's yeah. the South niggas is watching and they like, word, this yeah, nigga yeah, was yeah, with yeah, the South. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I'm, 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 I'm a dirty South nigga too, man, <laughs> hard body though. You feel me? That's why I always shout Little Rock, Holland Park, Paru, man. You know, to the set, all my treetop homies, all that, man. Like, you know, I rep Little Rock to the death because you got to understand, I grew up in Little Rock in Delaware. You right. know what I mean? Like, when I left Little Rock, came back to New York, um, bounced from the tent, I bounced back to Delaware. So I was always back and forth from Little Rock, Delaware, and always on the run from New York. So, you know, I always been in the South, man, but you know, shout out to the whole Little Rock though, man. The whole shout Arkansas, out to Little Rock. Man. You already know, man. Shout all the Highland Park, Park Rules right. out, man. Shit. Red uniforms. Shout all the treetop Park Rules out, man. Shout, all shout the out to the treetop. All in the South, shout all my homies out West, man. You feel me? All my homies out in the South, though. Niggas know Little Rock back on the map, though. I'm here letting niggas know, man. Yeah, Word. you seen what HBO came to? Banging in Little Rock, man. Yeah, shout That's out to that great documentary, story, Facts. That's right. Real fact, I was there down there, man. Snow, can I ask you a quick question? Niggas then maybe don't understand, bro. You'll go to the store, and it wasn't guaranteed, man. You coming back, man. Right. Elaborate more, because you're, you're correct, bro. I seen a documentary on Little Rock. I think this yeah, shit was, yeah, like, back in 2000. Or, or 2002 or something like that. But the way, like, I'm trying to get a picture of their mindset, and they almost like up north niggas to a certain extent. With the banging. I want to, no more, we ain't going nowhere with Little Rock, but you said, you mentioned my man Jimmy, man. And, yeah, yeah, know, yeah. Help my bro Jimmy out right now. He in a fucked up jail. He in Hazleton right now. USP, man. He locked down over there, man. Shout everybody out there, out there in Hazleton, man. USP, man. Um, Yo, Jimmy, man, you know, you got to understand, I'm from NY, man, so I grew up right. to niggas like Jimmy and certain niggas that came from, you know, the dirt and was able to, like, he's one of the biggest dudes out of New York right. that was able to maneuver back in 93, 94. When it was you know, unheard of. Saying? We're talking about Brandy. We're talking about 702. We're talking about a law. We talking about a lot of people, man. Jimmy Manners, bro. Right. You feel me? So being a young nigga in the streets, you know, and always wanting to make a way out this shit, Jimmy was an idol for me, man. You feel me? Because I'm looking at Jimmy like, damn, if Jim could do it, I know I could do it, my nigga. Even though I'm younger, that right. was my idol, man. So I can't go off of how other people feel about Jimmy because I've been looking up to Jimmy ever since I've been young. Right. You feel me? Jimmy was a person that's, I'm in a game, I'm rolled up, let up, condos in Delaware, condos in- You shining. Right. <laughs> right, but right. what I'm saying, but I'm not making my way into the industry because, you know- Too many hoops to jump through. Yeah, you feel me? Jimmy already had made his way through, so being a nigga coming out from New York and out of state, Seeing Jimmy is like, damn, Jim made it. Jim got born. Then, you know, Jim had game. Like, yo, man, shout my nigga Jimmy Ace out, man. But right. me and Jimmy met when I was doing a life sentence. I was in Comstock, New York. I had a life sentence in the penitentiary out there. And Jimmy came through and um, visit my man. That was my cooking partner. Jimmy came and visit them. And from there, man, we just linked, bro. We had good conversations and kept the communication going. And when that situation happened, you know, right. I hear from from time to time, but you when know, the last lockdown, when the last time you spoke down. to Jimmy and um like how um, how, how that prison directly, over there where he's at? Directly, I ain't speak to Jimmy since he was downtown. But okay. he back in Hazel. Since he's been back in the pen, I haven't heard from him, but I heard through from him. Right. I didn't hear directly from him though. But I heard from him like probably a year ago when he was still downtown before he um before he blew trial again. Maybe behind the scenes, you could give me his JPay or anything like that. Not necessarily because of money, because well, I'm pretty sure people would like to reach out to him 
And in fact, some of you niggas be giving love to a lot of people, free meat meal and all that. Y'all got families who've been locked up for goddamn 15 years. Y'all didn't even get this nigga a phone call. So if you got loved ones, man, like this nigga Snow is dropping some gems, man. They going through the hardest part of this Rona 19 we're going through right now. So show love to y'all family. And, and Brody, you were talking about Arkansas and how they get down. I, I, and we'll go through other adventures because I really want to, I honestly want to stay longer talking about your up and coming ventures, but I want people to know you. Can you talk more about Roosevelt Projects? Oh, well, oh yeah, that's where. Yeah, um, Roseville Products in Beth Stuyvesant. That's um, that's where my mom's from. That's where, like, when I was born, um, I went there, man. You know, right. from the hospital, I was um, January twentieth, nineteen seventy nine. I was born in um, Brooklyn Jewish, yeah, Brooklyn Jewish Hospital. It ain't there no more. It's in Crown Heights. Um, right. From there, from that hospital, when they released me, I was taking a. Roosevelt Housing Project, 7B. Right. And um, I stood there, you know, like any person who have a black mother, you know, young, still living with their mother and their siblings. Um, My mother and my father got a house and we moved from there. Right. You know, but my family always been there. So it was like, I still lived there because I was always there. You know what I'm saying? Right. But until I got of age and then I'm like, you know, I'm 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 making my moves now. But I'm from I'm from the sixth building, homie. And that's like the well back in my time that was like the most notorious building in Roosevelt. You know what I'm saying? Like So you met a lot of goon niggas over there. Cause I wanted to yeah, ask you about me. My, my building though, my building, my building is the sixth building, one twenty eight. That's where I'm from. Sixth building. Like that's not now, but I'm talking about back in my time, like when right. I was young. You know, shout out to my uncles. My uncles Build that, but I got uncle named Quick. Rest in peace. He dead. Rest uncle Hard to He dead too. You know what I'm saying? But um, all Peter Quack. Yo, there's so many people that's dead from my building, man. You know, and this is how the Delaware situation came in part. Um, Explain. Shout out to Shadu. Shadu got 50 years right now in the state. Mm. Um, um, we all, we 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 all, we was the first New York niggas in Wilmington, Delaware, man. You know what I'm saying? Back in the 80s. So, you know, being that my uncles and cousins from my building was the first New York niggas to 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 to, to take your take your time with it. You good, you good. Um, I'm gonna just talk through Shane as he's taking his time. Take your time, Brody. Um, y'all hit the likes up, man. I mean, oh the OG didn't yeah. really have to be here. He got a lot going on. So y'all show some appreciation, hit yeah. the like. Go ahead, bro. Jimmy? Yeah, we can hear you clear, bro. Um, being that um, we was the first New York niggas down there. It's like it's a chain reaction. Like you know, we we New York, we down there. Everybody from the building start following. We got this person that come down. They and you know, it's a it's a chain reaction. So you know, my building got a lot of history to it. You right. Know what I mean, shout out to RV man. Shout out to the six building. Shout you out know, to the six building for real, cause you like the second cat who told me about. You know what I'm saying? As far as where you came from, I, that's why I kind of like highlighted that question. It was something that was really interesting to me. But on the phone, I like talking to you like human, human, because you, you, you real cool, bro. And since you real cool, I know you talked about it. I want to just get it out the way so we can move on, because there's a lot of extra things that the people want to know. But what's the situation with you and Mano? Is that resolved? Is this something that just in the air? Like, what's going on with that? Or should we move on? I have no personal opinion. I write things down based on what people are sending to me. To, they want to ask. They want to know. So, you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Snow. To sum, to sum it up, like, a everybody may know looked up to, I violated, my nigga. That, like, you feel Talk me? Like, your shit. Like, I violated. So how am I going to respect you if I violated? Mm, nigga, you my you little know? nigga, little nigga. Damn. Right. You feel me? Like, Whew. he was in jail. When he was in jail, like the niggas he was fucking with, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't chase some niggas from out of town and all. I like, made them niggas leave states. You know what I mean? Like all kind of shit. Fired on niggas. Like my nigga. Like I'm, I don't. I ain't got no fucking like. It's a dub. He's Man. A dub. All right. I, I can clearly see the way. Basically, what Snow was saying to y'all. Like, there's no real beef if. You a nigga that grew up around me and we used to look down on you. Not necessarily making fun, but like you the littlest nigga, little, little nigga. I wanted to get out the way 
that's a, a chat uh, question. And I want to, yeah, I can hear you clear, Snow. He, he homeboys with niggas. A few niggas I personally violated. And niggas that my team violated. And my old team back in the day. So, right. like, you feel me? Like, if these are people, then it can't be no love between us because you fuck with these niggas. Right. Like, so you been... I don't I don't mind name dropping. Don't worry, y'all. I'll continue to name drop because Snow seems he's a good team player. Shout out to him for that. But I want to get back to you. You've been in the feds most of your life. Cause I've I'm not I'm not a stand. I'm just a supporter of real niggas. And I be, I know your story, but the people don't. How has the feds changed you? Cause there's somewhere a little snow look a, a little snow billy out there looking at your life story. Cause my family too. Shout out to Zoe P, who has almost the same similar story like yours. And these niggas be telling me the pressing shit when they locked up and we speaking to them. And I see a nigga like you, like, nigga, you living a life that most niggas dream about. And I'm not just talking about the bag, just the notoriety, the respect that you got from all these people over here. Being that you've been locked in the feds your whole life, what can you say to a nigga? First of all, tell us how it has affected you and what can you say to help other niggas in your situation and similar path and cross of life, cross walks of life. To not go there? Fuck all that, bro. You can speak freely. I'm not even... This ain't no holy no. channel. It's just no. more of... All right. Now more of make, what I anything you want to say about it. All right. Um. Well, for one, it disciplined me. You know, being... And being that, you know, um, I was locked down. You know, I didn't did my fair time in special um segregation units and all that for being... Carrying out violent acts on my peers and others I've been incarcerated with because but what I want to what I want to say is I want to let the youth know it ain't cracked up what it be man because it's, mm. it's, it's guys right now that have been there 40 years and they dying to get home man you ain't lying and they dying bro they dying let the people know snow I know I know some real niggas man that say yo bro they would have did it a lot different if they could right. do it all over again they can't never do it all over again because they got three life sentences. They ain't never coming out, man. You know, they release, they read deceased. You know what I'm saying? So, wow. You know, being that um, it disciplined me a lot. You know what I'm saying? And it made me um, it's like the army, bro. Fact. You know what I'm saying? It's like the army, man. It disciplines you, and it. They break you to mold you to a better person. Yeah, you know. And that's why people be like, yo, bro, what's up with all the clown shit? And or they be, I be like, bro, you prefer me to be making you laugh than making, making you, you cry. cry. Oh shit, you know word saying? fact. Like, yeah, hey, go we, for we, the laugh, we like this snow. We like this snow. I don't want to see you locked up because the game is kind of extra dry, bro. And niggas like y'all popped out the. And speaking about the OGs, we know a lot of situations with the OGs. They now getting this recognition, this love, because OGs always were respected. But so many young niggas in my state of Florida, Chicago, even your your state, New York, Chicago, West Coast. Go ahead. Florida, to Miami, um, Tampa, um, Orlando. You need to come to Florida. You know you got a home over here, Snow. I mean, shit. Say that, man. You already know. You know, soon as soon as Corona thing, man. Get these zones up I'm, over here, boy. Get all. <laughs> I, I might, I might have to pop out with the. With the M3 on bro. Word. Wifey yeah, saved your life with her nurse vibe. Oh, this nigga, you selling them joints? You selling them mask over there? Feel free to uh -uh. show that. That look different. Huh? That mask look extra different, bro. What that is right there, man. Tell the people right quick. It's the M3 right here. Ain't nothing coming through this shit. You hear me? So it got a filter inside it too? Word. <laughs> oh, shit. Tell the people where they could get it if you want to promote that right quick, man. Feel free. I don't even know, man. It was a gift, Brody. Right. 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 That shit looked like um man, Batman when um Vane came through, bro. You know what I mean? Back <laughs> up. You feel it's me? a New York nigga for real, man. I ain't gonna even lie. Hey, that hey, I lived in New York, right, Snow? And I went to New York and that even the niggas that robbed me was swagged out. Like I I give it to that. Like, so since you got you about this swag stuff. What about the game can Snow Billy change? Because you already had an impact. You ain't been out here that long. What about the game that you could change significantly? Because I'm going to keep it a stat. You get views and numbers on your channel, but your name ring bells so much. Channels like mine and other channels, 
numbers go crazy when they hear Snow Billy. Even if you did like a hundred interviews, the numbers ring. What can you change about the game? I don't need to be doing. I don't need to be at the French stand a lot no more, my nigga. You you, you need to, bro. We was I was waiting for that, bro. Like who, who who's gonna come hey, up yo, to the stand? Trust me. Hey yo, I'm gonna touch you. Ask you ask the question. Where did the French stand come from? Right. Right. The terminology, everything, the aura, the vibe. And listen, right. Um, is it is it is a jail thing, my nigga? And that's the crazy thing. Is is in jail, but it is a it's a box thing, my nigga. Like. In a box, right? Niggas open the French stand up five o'clock in the morning, my nigga. Nigga just flip on you, my nigga. Nigga be like, yo, you be talking to a nigga, having a conversation with a nigga. Right. And nigga just come out and be like, yo, my nigga. You be like, yo, what up? Nigga be like, my nigga, either Frank, my nigga. Nigga be like, yo, right. what that <laughs> Like, what? Nigga be like, my nigga, eat a bag of French. I'm off this shit. And nigga just fall back and you don't hear that nigga for two days, man. <laughs> hey, you did you trademark this year? Oh, let's talk about yeah. it behind the scene. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. Def definitely, man. You know, we trying to get on. Um, well, right now, I got a job with Universal Pictures. They've been looking at it and everything. Go in on that, bro, if you if you feel like it. Well, I can't really say much, but niggas okay, know, okay. You know, word, you know word. Is it don't say YouTuber. too much then. Don't say too right. much then. Right, right. Never YouTuber who I'm connected to. Word. And we got a situation where you know some big people man and they've been looking at the friends and on some comedy stuff so they right. didn't did they thing and came at me with a proposal so but everything got put on hold because of corona bro like you know it was some big things going down right now with this shit man that's why i ain't you know i'm still with it but it's like wow bro like every time you know we had it like we we locked in on with some major people bro right. and he even fucked up behind it but you know, we can't do nothing because this is play now that you know it look like things gonna lighten up. Niggas gonna see the real strength stand pop out because we got <laughs> dancers and all that. Cool. Hey, shout out to the YouTuber you working with. We love blessings. Anybody who make Snow Billy uh name ring is a shout, fan of mine. Shout man. Star, man. Shout yo, listen, go tune into the star report, man. Hell yeah, that's my OG, bro. That's my OG. I didn't even know, bro. Oh shit, you see how God connect similar minds? Cause shout out to uh, Star Terrain for real, man. Been in this shit for the last forty years almost. Shout out to Star Terrain, man. Um, he, he the beast, man. He right, he beast. he's my OG, and I respect Star him. But report, man. shout out to the Star Report, but OG, this about you right now, OG. Um, we we definitely we talk about Star Report on my platform every day, but the people. Like, this is the close that a lot of them, they go to other niggas' YouTubers' pages. They don't get to be this close to you. And I know other Sididi celebrities, such as not yourself, but in your peers and circle, whack funny with these people. So these people are day ones that's loving the vibe. And since we're loving the vibe, I can't just be, because somebody might be like, I'm kissing your ass. Nah, man, I've been around so many fake shit and fluke shit. I just respect the real. But I got to get to my journalist type shit. I seen Gully TV. It looked like he was trolling you. I don't know. He asked and said, you don't know who Rod Diggs is. Do you want to elaborate on your relationship with Rod Diggs and the speculation um, if you know him or not? I don't. I don't. I, took, um, I never hung out with Rod Diggs because right. I'm older than Rod Diggs. When I was in that project, Rod Diggs was a little kid. Him, Rod Diggs is in jail for ordering the murder on my crime, my um comrade named Slow, S L O W. Slow was from Crown Heights, but we all lived in the projects. Rod Diggs was a young boy. Slow the one who shot Rod Diggs in the mm. leg. When he was in the hospital. He called his cousins from the hospital bed. They waited in the lobby, killed Slow, hit him like nine times. They got time. They got. They did like fifteen years. Hold on, Billy. I want to protect you, bro, because I got trolls who follow. Can you talk about this, or I wanted to hold you up because I'm glad you're free and open like that. But at the same time, I protect the niggas on my show. They, I'm they, protect. They did. They did. They time already. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Feel free. Pro proceed, then, because we ain't like the mother niggas over there. Like we got families who's locked up. I make sure I protect y'all. I hear you good, bro. Continue. Hear me home. Yeah. Dig fucked up when he rapped about it in a song because he beat it in the state right he he didn't get no he beat it but when he went to the studio and rapped about doing that the feds charged them and the feds for the slow body and some more shit but it was mainly for slow 
Right. So now, you know, he kind of like, you know, he rapped about it, you know. And then a situation happened where when I was in Clinton, Clinton is a state jail upstate New York. It's called Clinton Dan Amora. Word. Um, I stabbed the kid in his in his eye. His name was Serge. I stabbed Ch him. Tell my nigga, you stabbed the nigga where? <laughs> in his eye. This kid named Serge. This blood kid. I had stabbed him. And um, fake kid. He's a fake little cornball kid, man. You know, he thought he was tough, you know, right. young, you know, and I'm like, you in a whole, you you in the penitentiary. I don't know where you came from. He was just fresh up north. You know, he he, he was just fresh to the penitentiary life. Man, I already had about three stabbings in a jail already. You know what I mean? And I was in that unit I was in, they got a unit called Unit 14. That's where they hold the death row inmates and they also hold the box inmates. I just came from that unit and placed on that unit and um he he did i was talking to one of my old school homies from back in the days and as i was talking to him he had walked up and stood right. there as if like he was he air hustling on the conversation i couldn't really check him nigga. at that moment <laughs> yeah i couldn't check him at that moment because they was calling the houses into the cell block like a block b block so i seen him the next morning he was doing a the milk cart he was putting the milk inside the picture for the guys that's still going to the box or key right. lock. that was the unit he was on so i said joe what was your issues what was your problem that yesterday why was you standing there and he just and i said well, next time i your fucking business man <laughs> and i went to, and i went to chad and when i came back from chad i went to my cell and he came to my cell and he was like, yo, I know who you is. I heard of you, ba ba ba. Yo, I know you get busy. I know you a gangster. He was talking all this stupid shit. Right. He was like, he get busy too. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but where he went wrong at was he put his hands inside the bars. You feel me? Almost and, like the zoo. Almost like the zoo, my nigga. Do not feed the gorillas. Right. He put his hands, he put his hands on my on my bars. I was looking at BT and I said, oh, I'm going to stab this kid, man. I said, I'm going to hurt him, man. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, yo, I, I said, yo, man. Uh, and, you know, he was like, I know who you is. And he was telling me that my man who got like 10, my man name was Crown. He ran that whole project where, where um, Rod Diggs is from. He got 10 life sentences. God damn. Excuse me. Yeah, Shit. One of the most listen, man. When I tell you, at, when I was with him, when I was with him, he was one of the most down low, quiet, stack all his money, good kid, man. You hear me? Like after I left from down there, the boy went bananas, man, and he got ten life sentences right now. God damn! I got I got a family member, right? Snow. They get this nigga life. That's Plus the, 63 years, but 10 that's, life that's sentences? Yeah, that's the golf form of the murderous mad dog crew. He and um he and Big Sandy right now. His name Shout is. out to the Mad Dog crew. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 that's, that's where they from. They from down go more. But crime is the he got the he the he the golf far with him and on the penitentiary, y'all. He got 10 elbows, man. But that was Oof. my boy, you know, that, you know, that was my crimey man, and um Right. You know, he ran that project, him and his uncle named Chee. Chee got 20. He should be on his way home. His brother, Bam, you know, niggas right. had the whole Gawanas on smash. After they left, then Rod Diggs got in power. You know what I mean? Because nobody was in the projects after that. Right. You know, slow he ain't have no babysitter I, OGs. Right. I, I was up north. Slow was dead. Crime and then was some um, of the feds. So he had the whole projects to himself. That's how Rod Diggs got the projects but um what was we talking about my phone is on like my phone was dying no you what go we can we you actually explain everything we needed to know i'm gonna go to the next question you actually went deeper than the gully tv interview and i respect that um og thank you because the um the people wanted to know and if you can't see my face because i put you on the obs stream oh, oh you yeah, connected yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I my finish. Finish. I go ahead finish. go speak your finish. piece don't 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 excuse me sure. cut me the fuck off right right the kid the kid serves after he put his hands then the next day he was locked in that whole day anyway the next day i went to chow right and i had a, um a pick on me and <laughs> i didn't see i didn't see him when i was going to chow 
I seen him on my way back from Chap. Right. And um, he was trying to, it was an all-star homie at the end of the gallery. So I guess he was talking to him. But when he heard the cells being cracked open, he tried to make his way off the gallery. But um, <laughs> in the hallway, they say outside line taken in. I was on the outside line, and uh, it was a few of the old heads, you know, that been in jail 30 years. They was right. on the line with me. So I had, a glove. I had a pair of gloves on, and I put my gloves on, and I, like, kind of ran past them. They was like, oh, man, you know what I mean? Like, this right. fucking asshole. You know what I mean? <laughs> These guys are old timers, man. They don't you got, you got a name. Right. You know what I mean? They don't got no time for this young boy crazy shit. So I zoomed past them. I ran up to my company, and just as he was making it off the gallery, I grabbed him. Right. And when I grabbed him, I fired on him, man. He was like, yo, why you do that? I was like, yo, my nigga, get the fuck away from me, man. Like, Man, y'all hit that like button, man. Snow is doing an intimate interview. This nigga's giving more info than I thought he would. God damn, this is exclusive. We're going to have the links to all his platforms. Y'all know how we do after the interview. It's really the after show of Snow. We're going to continue talking about pop, but, man, this dude is, is dropping haymakers. And I'm going to separate this interview from the rec, so even if this live go three more hours, we're gonna have your nah, part because yeah. your focus. We go, we go, don't worry about it. We'll start, don't worry about it because I gotta handle something in a few minutes. So we'll start, right. you know, we'll, we'll do a part one or part two for the people's man. Much love. You know, they, you know, now they, you know, now they got to see who the person is, I guess. Right. You know, you got a lot of people in here right now. You got a lot. Um, You got over a hundred in here watching you. And just uh, they cling it on every word, bro. Usually people will look and hate, but everybody vibing with you. And um, before before you get off to the part two or part one, I gotta throw this out the way. We gave love to all the OGs who came home, this and that. I don't know this gentleman, but I seen him on Gotti's channel before, and I don't know if you want to speak on him or not. And I'm gonna give you several names. But Wildcat, what's the situation with you and Wildcat? Is there none, or there's nothing need to be talked about? What's nah, the there's no situation, man. Wildcat okay. is good money. Okay. Wildcat good money. Wildcat good. Wildcat good money. No situation. What about Shout Mel Wildcat. Cross? Shout out to Wildcat. What about Mel nah, Cross? Nah, nah, we ain't got nothing to do with Mel Cross. Okay, I ain't gonna even speak on it. Say, say no more, OG. What about nah, you? Know, I don't, you know, you already know how to handle them niggas, man. You know, <laughs> if I say a nigga good, nigga good. If I say nigga Word. ain't good, you know, you know, Ryan Young, Smoke Billy, nigga the Frank. Get, eat a Frank, mean, facts. Eat a Frank, nigga. Right. Know what I mean, man, cross, eat a Frank. Like, oh, you know? speak your piece, cause I, I feel some type of way about him and some other shit. But I'm not gonna. Yeah, as a real nigga, I ain't gonna like, speak it to everybody. I mean, listen, listen, Go man, ahead. listen. You know, like, cause I talk I to him in real life about something. Yeah, I don't want to throw it out there. My bad. I don't. I don't. I don't hold no. You know, he know what he did. You know right. what I mean? He know who I am. And he know how I move in the spot. And he was with me, man. Like. I could give you Clinton Dan a more right. I had just got what's going on. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you good. It was cut. Your your live was cutting up for a little bit, but I hear you good, OG. Yeah. Niggas be spreading these corny dick head room. I'm on you with none of that. I don't wish uh, this is what it is, this is what it's not. You feel me? Right. So, um, when I got Clinton Dan more, um, the police was your your live was freezing, OG. Do you wanna cut do you wanna cut it Still. out and come back in? Cause with the with the stream yard, you just cut it and cut it out. But we should have a good setup by next week where this, I ain't gonna use the stream yard no more. So this is gonna be like a rest in peace to the stream yard. Um, I think if you cut out and cut back in, it'll be more clear. How you do that? You know, I don't know how to really do this shit. Well, we can I hear you good now. I was going to tell you to cut it off, but we hear you good now. But if it do it again, cut it off and hit that link I sent you again, and I'll put you back in the room again. That's all it is with it. But we hear you clear. You can proceed. What you were saying about right. Mel. Um, boom. So, you know, I'm standing there waiting. I'm letting, you know, you know, the CO, they going through my property and all that. So, you know, he's going to some, I, I guess he's going to the visit. He's going to a fucking, some festival on the visiting floor. So mm -hmm. he see me. He like, um, what do he say? 
Oh, oh shit in the floor. Word. I said, what? Where? He said, yo, I'm gonna go with you home. He said, my nigga, I'm gonna get a nigga. Ain't they gonna have to kill me in that yard? You you gonna have to kill me in that yard, my nigga. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm like that. You gonna have to put me out. Like, you know that. You know what Word. I mean? I'm on the yard, man. Like, you know, you gonna have, so I'm like, nah, I'll be in the yard. So, you know, I go to the yard. He's still on the visiting floor. Niggas ain't want no smoke with me, my nigga. Look at me. I'm a light skinned nigga, my nigga. <laughs> I'm a light skin nigga. I ain't got a, I ain't got a razor cut on my face, bro. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? You got like, the element man, of surprise man. when you light skin. <laughs> yeah, my nigga, like you hear me, my nigga. I ain't got another scratch on my shit, my nigga. My nigga ain't, you know what I mean? Right. Like, I got some. You know, I've been, I've been in wars, but a nigga not gonna play with me, my nigga. A nigga ain't gonna pull no fucking razor out on me and cut me, cause that same razor you pull on me, I'ma take that shit from you and I'ma fuck you around, my nigga. Right. I'm gonna fuck you around, so so crazy. You ain't you ain't even gonna know that shit. You 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 even attempted to use word could do what it do. Like so, a nigga not gonna play kid games. Kid them them niggas little kids play with them little razors and scalpels and them little them sisters like a a a a a, a, a staple of cutter. Like who you you who you playing with? Like so, a nigga ain't gonna handle me like that because you know it's just a different time. Is it different? type of situation with me so you know but um you know i i went to the yard and i niggas ain't want no nah. niggas right. niggas bitched out my nigga niggas folded you hear me where so it was and pump fake you more like it my nigga niggas was i'm telling you on everything i love on my dead mother on her rotten bones your word is bond niggas. billy you one of the few niggas, niggas that don't have to say on your mama niggas, bro niggas niggas folded in that yard my nigga <laughs> then, my nigga niggas folded niggas folded my nigga niggas folded my was nigga, you disappointed i mean it was and i but i still bust a nigga head open in front of the police damn i guess not up. right i still i still tore a nigga ass up right in front of booth 21 right in front of the police tore a nigga ass up put my hand in the gate it came with the camera handcuffed me took me to the shu unit that's it pop my nigga like Ain't no plan, nigga. I'm a light skin nigga. I ain't let nigga get no one up on. Right. It's, om like, it's almost like me being a skinny nigga. Like all the fights yeah. I ever got in, nigga, I like fighting big thing. niggas. My nigga, you gotta when you a light skin nigga. One thing, God bless your mother's soul. Right. First thing your mother say, man, don't let nobody do nothing in that face, man. <laughs> <laughs> I tell my mama. I tell my mama when she was alive. I said. Nigga, do something in my face, man. Trust me. I'm taking a whole nother. All means necessary. Man, nigga ain't gonna be able to tell nobody about it, man. I'm putting niggas. I'm bust, man. Listen, my nigga. Like, I ain't, I ain't. And like I say, man, I'm on the yard, my nigga. Like, you know, right. I, I'm, you have Shane, you have Snow, man. Shane is an intelligent dude, man. Dudes that right. know me know. I read over three, 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 four thousand books, my nigga. Like I'm really intelligent, but then I got snow. You can't judge snow. You gotta understand snow due to the environment he come from. You dig what I'm saying? Word. I come from an environment, my nigga. Elaborate your environment. Talk your shit, fam. I mean, I, I I come from two of the worst New York City housing projects in America, bro. Word. Like, what do you? I mean. <laughs> And I'm 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 a statistic of my environment, bro. Right. Like, I'm not. You gotta understand, man. It ain't no, not true. But people gotta understand the people that come from these environments. Those that's in a fucking situation want to do better, bro. And right. all my life, I wanted to do better. But being that my environment I come from, this is what it breed. So what do you expect from me? I have to be strong enough to fight and do better and want to do better, bro. You know what I'm right. saying? Now I'm glad you elaborated on Mel Cross the way you uh elaborate on oh, it. But yeah, this is yeah, yeah, like, you don't have to bozo. right. We don't we're not gonna talk more about him. I you actually went longer than what I thought, so salute to you on that. Um oh yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah, ahead, yeah, speak yeah, your yeah. piece. I, I, I forgot on the bottom, man. But um but by that time, you know, when I he came in the yard, niggas niggas, I said, Y'all niggas out here pump figure, y'all bluffing. My nigga, you know, I'm out there heavy. 
I ain't playing my nigga. I'm 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 on my bullshit, my nigga. Niggas see the right. bitches. Niggas see me, my nigga. I ain't no like nah, ain't nothing corny here. We not playing them games, my nigga. Doing what the who? Right. Fuck one of you niggas up, man. Not many people you call your me? name out though, Snow. Some of them they'll say your name, but when you do your little cool poetic clap back and niggas just fall back, I've noticed. I'm not trying to call out names, but niggas. I don't see niggas really trying you like that besides trolls here and there, but we don't give a fuck about no troll. Like, yeah, yeah, man, man, you know, I got cockroaches, man. Yeah. The yeah. troll could be a fucking kid in Ireland. Fat, fat, fags. Oh, talk your shit, Billy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, man. Yo, I just seen some trolls. They be saying, yo, I'm pull up on you. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, don't do it, Billy, because I'll pull it up on the troll before 911. Do not do Listen, it, Billy. Yo. Nah, I would know. This is what they tell me. I'm not going to do anything. They tell me. They say, yo, I'm going to pull up on you. Word. I, and what I seen a nigga who was, nigga, you, you playing? Oh, you playing. I'm, I'm going to go along with your shenanigans, my nigga. Of course. <laughs> you ain't going to pull up on me, my nigga. Right. You, 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 you pull up on me, you're going to have a problem, man. Ain't, ain't nobody going to be able to fix for you, man. You're going to be fucked up, man. Oh. You, that you you uh, to the to, to the many people in the room watching Snow tell his story, bro. Can you accept, like I don't want to I don't want to water down who you are. Some people want to keep you on for two hours. Now, if you feel like staying that long, that's on you. I love these little exclusives. So before you even get off, Snow, I want you and I'm. This is not me running you off. I want you to be comfortable. It's on you what time you want to get off. But I want you to. Let the people know what you got going on behind the scenes, bro. Because one thing about you, I see you don't really chase the clout wave and all. But business is business, my nigga. And you got yeah, a lot yeah, of, you got heavy yeah, shit behind the scenes, I bro. I just say what I say and I fall right. back, my nigga. I don't be with the, the antics like, yo, I don't, I say what I say. If I say Jim is a fucking, my nigga, I ain't, I ain't got, I ain't, you want me to tell you, you want me to tell you, I Right. Well, I'm telling you the fuck. Right. I ain't like, Re repeat but, who you call the rap, bro, because you now we need you to repeat what you just said because it froze I, and I want to hear said, that again. I said, I said, I keep, I said, I keep it up. Uh, uh, if I say Jim was a rat, he a rat. If I say Jim Jones is pussy, he a pussy. Can you explain you that to us? Because I, I try my best not to ask you that, but since you talked yeah. about it, Tell us about Jim yeah. Jones, uh, Snow. I mean, like, listen, man, like, you know, Melly is my little homie. So, you know, for years, right. man, Melly always, Melly always cried to me how Jimmy was afraid of me or how Jimmy was, you Word. know, yo, yo, the homie, yo, that nigga scared me, yo. You know, he just did little bitch shit that I never said nothing about. I'm like, yo, like, my nigga, what type of bozo nigga you are to be even telling another man, like, Yo, Word. um, yo, that nigga, oh, that nigga scared me, man. Like, what you mean that nigga scared me? Who? I, 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 niggas in a horrible movie, son. I ain't no zombie, right. nigga. Like, what happened? What you mean I'm scared? Me? Like, yo, I don't want me. Like, Melly was just telling me a whole bunch of shit that, you know, made me, like, look at Jim. And then I've been in places with Jim, and I've seen his behavior. Like, I've been in major, like, I've been in a lot of different clubs. And when he see me, he'd do bitch shit and just leave, my nigga. Right. And I said, damn, this nigga did this shit in the last spot. Like, the type of time you on. So now you make me believe everything Melly is telling me is true mm. about you being scared to be around a nigga. Like, so you a bozo, nigga. Right. Like, ain't nothing else, no more. So the image that Jim Jones portrays, you know, the blood and all that, because I know niggas look at him now as the loving hip hop nigga with his wifey Chrissy. That's yeah, the image of him we got. Oh, that nigga's a friend cat, man. You see what he told Rod Diggs about, yo, take that blood shit out the studio. Right. You don't talk to no homie like that, nigga. You fucking retarded Rod Diggs was going to send that nigga to the moon, man. He lucky, man. That nigga lucky, man. Just say that, man. You know, Rod Diggs was going to fuck him around, man. Word. You know, you don't tell nobody, yo, take that. But you mean this blood shit? What the fuck is you talking about? You right. Mean? Do you get offended when he talks about blood situation or blood politics? I mean, you gotta understand, man. Listen, right? Understand something, man. Look, little nigga. Like, I'm really like, 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 like. This is my life, homie. Like, Word. this ain't no stage shit. This with me. This go to bed with me, homie. This go to bed with me, man. So, 
you gotta understand this shit's had it on me for real, man. Right. This five point stars on me, man. This shit ain't no game. This chug this red chuck tailors on me, man. Shout out to all see the bloods, man. See this, you see these burns on my arm, man. Like this real, man. This ain't no game, man. You see them, you see them burns? Right. This ain't no game for me, man. So, you know, I might not show it because I don't like niggas to see my emotions. Right. But of course, I'm always gonna feel some way when it comes to the because I was birthed in this shit, you could damn that say. Mm. So it's your course, life. I'm gonna feel, you know, of course I'm gonna feel some way with a nigga playing with my what what but that's like if you Muslim and you was born into being a Muslim. Right. You will feel some way if somebody was playing with your fucking kufi. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Or your, your childish bed or your beads. You'll be like, yo, what type of time these niggas on? Right. Listen, if they think this some street shit, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I could just be with this shit because that's what's cool right now. Fashion I'm type like, shit, right? A trend. I lost, I lost a lot of homies, man. At fourteen years old. Tell me, tell me. Before you say that, Billy. Now huh? stop where you said that at and go deep on that, because there's a lot of people who take what you dudes do, because they're taking what you guys been through. You bled up and you live your whole life in this fed shit. And I, I, I know I seem, seem like I'm being rude because you touched on a point that I didn't even write that down. Touch on how you feel about all these so-called bloods wilding out for the, the, the BETs, the music videos and all that. But we talking to the official nigga that's been through the politics and the wars and the in is out of all this street shit. How you feel about that? What you mean with the buff you mean with they, the part they use it for the entertainment? Yeah, yeah. Not just entertainment purpose, but because if it's just that, I would I might look the other way. But they try to tell stories like a Jim Jones, all these other people, as far as Yo, listen, they walk what anytime, you've been through. Any, 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 any time, any time I see some entertainer, but there's a few out there. Shout out to Chris Brown. That's the mm. real blood. Shout out to Gang. That's the real blood. Right. Shout out to YG. These niggas is real, man. These niggas, these niggas was born into this. You hear me? These, this ain't no, this ain't. The same, you know, these entertainers that's just, they were so happy to really make a better way for themselves, bro. You know, they could have died like any of the rest of my home on the post that's unfortunately passed away, bro. They were just blessed enough to, and I'm saying that others wasn't blessed, even though what God had in store for them. You would know, I would never know. So I can't say even the ones I lost was blessed. I don't know. God could have had a better better a better life for them somewhere else right you know see guys like that ain't that's like i know for one i know new york new york wasn't never meant for bloods you understand what i'm saying and hey, go deep what was it meant for we like it's a territory i know this will be You, you breaking in uh, in and out, OG. Right, you can hear me now. I don't like this shit, man. That's yeah, I don't like it neither. Trust me, we were saying that the other day. We're gonna get something better. And next time, I might I might make you do the Instagram live, and I I put it up on YouTube and synchronize it at the same time. But I got another setup. But I'll, I'm just bearing with it right now. Trust me, we'll talk behind the scenes. I feel you on that. Yeah, yeah, but um, you know, man, um, yeah. Put y'all franks. Put y'all franks in the chat. I seen it already. I know. Hey, spam the whole chat room with the Franks, cause that's love what y'all showing right now. Spam the whole chat with the Franks. Continue, yeah. bro. Yeah, but you know, man, when I see entertainers, man, you know, playing with this, you know, playing with this thing of ours, man, you know, you know, it's like, you know, because again, no matter, no matter, you know, when I become seventy years old or whatever, you know, just because I was raised in this, right doesn't mean I behave, you know, in a manner they look up, they look at us and like, you know, like, oh, no, I'm, I'm intelligent. I'm not just smart. I'm intelligent. You know what I'm saying? So, Word. It's not the, the, you know, no, I, I've been able to, it's my spending, my knowledge and my mental. It ain't just, oh, I stuck, stuck. And I'm just this, wow. <laughs> Cowboy. 
in a position to be. Rather than that, like my saying is, I want to go home tonight. Word. OG, I'm do me a favor. Like, Before you get off or whatever, just hop off the stream yard and click back on it. Because it was going in and out. And stream yard, this is the last day we use right. the stream yard. My bad. This is the last day. I can't. We got to we gotta grow and step our game up. My bad, y'all. But OG's coming back in the room. Thank you to y'all, man. Shout out to Misunderstood. I see you in the room. Shout out to everybody in the room. Shout out to Janice. I got your cash app donation. Um, much much respect to y'all. Okay, we got snow back in. This is gonna be the last time wherever you stream yard. Okay, we got you, Snow. Yeah, but um, you know that's what it is, man. You know, but you know you can't. It's a different time now, and things is different. So you gotta go with the flow, and you know you gotta just be able to surf the obstacles, man. <laughs> <laughs> can you elaborate what you got on going on i mean i know you can't get in deep can you tell us behind the scenes what you got going on and what would you like to people because you you got a lot of supporters in the room so talk to your supporters right quick i'm pretty sure they they love your face not my ugly face so talk to your people right quick and tell them where they can get more of snow billy and the things that you got upcoming if you can talk about some of your business adventures hey yo let them let them let them know, man, you know, they got to deal with you, man, because you part of the commission we got on this mm. YouTube, these YouTube streets, man. So, you know, we got this commission thing going on. Shout out to me. the commission. Um, Gotti. Gotti. Oz, um, Crown TV for the legal. Um, Feed the Wolf, Zeke. Who else, man? We got a few, man. We got, um. Daily Hip Hop in the building. Shout, him Shout out. out to Daily Hip Hop you know, right quick, man. Shout you out because, you know, you know, you, 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 you doing your thing. Salute to you, man. So, you know, we about to, we about to make this shit for what it's worth, man. Word. You know, we about to make this thing for what it's worth. But, you know, one thing ain't if you ain't got the rest of these, you heard? Word. It's, you can hear me? I can hear you. It was breaking, but like I don't like stopping you even when it's breaking. Just keep talking, like it, cause the interview was so great. We got so much exclusive. We can hear you, bro. That can you see me? I can see you too. I mean, it's it's going slow. I don't know what's to do with stream y'all, yeah. but just keep going. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it and shit. This is a ghetto show, anyways. It's real as it gets. So yeah, you know. But yeah, shout everybody out that's tuning in, man. You know, running numbers up for the Brody. One of the numbers up tune in, man. Right. You know, I know a lot of people don't get to hear me like they probably want. Sometimes when I be going live, I be going off course, man. You know, depending on how I'm feeling before I jump on this shit. But, you know, since we here, man, run it up for the Brody, man. And, um, you know, we'll do it again, man. Like I said, no matter where I go, no matter what I'm doing. Right. Like I'm I'm been rich, my nigga. <laughs> you know I mean, with these Talk niggas, your shit. With these, with these niggas is doing, I've been dead, man. I went to jail a millionaire. Well, I won't say a millionaire, but I was worth about a good million dollars when I was. You was a there. street millionaire, right? Right. You know what I mean? Like, like, like to be able to have that kind of money back then and be that age. Word. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, B it's Billy. Different. I don't mean to cut you off because these people. Shout out the VA swag. One key question, because you talked about young and being at your young age. We know the young bull, Bashar Jackson, Pop Smoke was young. Now you reference and that video went crazy and I was blowing up, but that video got me a lot of subscribers when you reference dirty Brooklyn niggas killed Pop Smoke. You don't have to say they're the ones who did this and that. Like what made your mindset to even say that? You feel what I'm saying? You can go on that if you want to. Bottom 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 line, man, you know, because I deal with certain visions, <laughs> I deal with certain spirits, man. Right. Um, then bro, you know, I'm tuned in um Niggas, niggas ain't gonna rob them. I, what, 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 what I gather from the spirits right. that come to his soul, they just wanted him out the way, bro. It was hate. They didn't. They didn't. You got people who hate. They. He was. He. He was the next big thing for the world. And Word. Some people they want to see that man. 
You know what I mean? Some people ain't want to see that, man. He was the next big thing, man. Some people ain't want to see that. You got people who just want to see you dead, bro. They don't care. You heard what Jay-Z said in one of his songs? He said, broke niggas don't want to rob you. They just want to kill you, my nigga. Word. Envy. Niggas ain't want... He was just doing too much for them niggas. Like, he doing too much. Like, snip. Got five bubins on his neck. Shit like this, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Independent shit too, facts. Yo. Brody was bro, getting it. Bro shit like Yo, Brody, Brody looking like looking like he just came from Egypt, my nigga. My nigga just <laughs> opened up from one of the King Tut tombs or something. You know what I'm saying, my nigga? Nigga was like, right. what? Yo, niggas would have did that anywhere. Niggas just want, like, you know, it was just hate, bro. I right. just feel it was just mad hate, my nigga. Like, it was just hate. It was just, it was just one of them situations on. It was just one of them situations where niggas ain't want to see him living, my nigga. Like, he was doing Word. it. He was doing it. You know what I mean? You got niggas that be doing too much. Like, I'm right. one of them niggas. I be doing too much. <laughs> you hear me? Shout out to Snow. <laughs> That ain't doing too I much. Be, it's be, it's in us, bro. It's in us, bro. It's in us, bro. I be put I be putting nigga on the Franks there in Wall of Fame quick. Well, what he said, I ran out of niggas, my nigga. I, like I got about I got about two niggas. Only why I ain't put them on the Frank stand yet because I don't want to mess the people's relationships up who they fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I ain't put these two niggas on the Frank stand yet, but. Every day I'm tempted, man, cause I'm running. This how Tyson ran out of me. I'm running out of niggas. I'm running out of Franks, man. Nigga, you ain't never. Hey, Snow, don't lie, bro. No, I, I got to hold you, bro. No, nigga, you can never I, run out of I, Franks, nigga. nigga. Like you said, a Frank is yeah. born every day. Make a t-shirt right, out of that. Right, right, a Frank right. is a born Frank, every nigga. day, even in right, some of the right, chat right. section but, right now. But but before we package these niggas up, my nigga, right. I'm, running, I'm, I'm running out of space, my nigga. I ain't got, <laughs> like... And hear me, and then you know niggas don't never want to say nothing back to me, so right. it's kind of boring after a while. You know what I mean? I agree with you on that. It does get boring. Like, beef with a nigga that hide they face, they troll. I give they, you that. They, 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 you know, they, they, ain't, they ain't gonna say too much. They ain't gonna say too much playing with me, man. Like I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never been the one to be playing with my nigga. Like you know, we can joke with the Frank. You know, I joke with these niggas, but. I just say that's prefer me to be joking. I, I I prefer to be throwing franks. You feel me? <laughs> Word. They calling that's you that. official in the chat, bro. Like niggas, you got niggas. Some because we got a lot of Middle Eastern people and European people in UK watching heavy. I looked at analytics. Almost sixty percent of my 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 supporters are from overseas. That's why I definitely want you to bless the show. Not necessary for me because a lot of people they're in tune with hip hop. You ain't even a rapper, Snow. Niggas is hitting me up behind the scenes, like, when he dropping his next album, I had to tell an African cat, like, this nigga ain't no rapper, bro. Because he's like, no, I see his name everywhere. I need you to see the emails, and, and I'm going to definitely give you links. I'm going to do a video to give out, because we're going to talk behind the scenes after I do the entire show. Even when you get off, I got to call you, because I want to bless the chat. I don't want to just shut it off. I'm just going to edit it where we just keep your interview. But we definitely going to promote, because there's people every day, like, because the last live we didn't even do with you, because the situation... Nigga, go look at the numbers on that. It was 14 minutes without you on there, and the numbers spiked up. That's how bad people want to know who the hell is Shane Hardy, bro. Like, fuck Snow Billy, even though not like that like that, but who's Shane Hardy? Because right. niggas looking at your story, bro, in a little bit, your name is going to be everywhere if it's not already. So talk to the people, man, as far as what can they do. Like, because it's, it's a bad time, man. We're in the end of times with this coronavirus. not saying it's affecting us if you're not being affected, but niggas is starting to be more creative. What you what you got? I know I said this earlier, but I got to make you tell the people again, because we got somebody who actually came out the mud. What can they do during this time? Like, what avenue should they hit to try to make a name for themselves? And we're talking about street niggas, business people, suburb, everybody, all walks of life. Stay persistent and whatever you do, man. Don't stop. Don't stop, man. Stay tunnel vision and stay persistent, man. Like, stay persistent. Whatever it is you're reaching for, whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're trying to get out, whatever it is you're trying to express, stay persistent with it, man. Word. You know, stay tunnel vision, man. Don't let nobody throw you off course. You know, um, if somebody push you, push them back. 
<laughs> oh, facts. <laughs> listen, he said push him three push times. Him, <laughs> push him two times and hit him in the head with a Frank. <laughs> hey, y'all put Franks in the chat right quick, man. Yeah. Snow, you got yeah. me back on my grizzly, bro. You don't even know that. Truth be told, I don't like this live shit, Snow. I don't like the yeah. internet. But when I yeah. see niggas yeah. like you watching me, because I got a lot of so-called celebrity niggas that hit me up behind the scenes, and I'm not going to disrespect them. Shout yeah. out to them. But I don't really speak to a lot of them. I be freezing them. I be acting like I'm the celebrity. But when niggas like you, it's like, oh, fuck these niggas. Oh, I got Snow. Yeah. Fuck you with me. Yeah. Like, even the white boy was like, nigga, fuck it, you a groupie now or something? Nah, this is snow, babe. And I'll put it on to you and shit. She like, keep fucking with this nigga because she noticed, bro, I got certain niggas who want you to do X, Y, and Z, but you move just official behind the scenes. These niggas don't even know. A lot of niggas you can't access like this. These niggas, and even the niggas that are trolling in the chat, I don't know if they are, but salute to them. Like, they probably worshiping you right now. Like, oh, shit, this nigga official. He got snow on here. So I definitely got to, I don't care if I look like a fan, bro, because I am, if you think about it. Right, man, Thank you, bro, for man. having me, bro. I watch you too, man. I watch you. I look and I tune in. And I don't, yo, my nigga, I don't, it's too much stuff on YouTube to be watching. That shit will take up your whole day, my nigga. You, my nigga, Facts. YouTube is like, my nigga, YouTube, YouTube link you to so many different links. You go to YouTube, if you get caught up smoking and youtube and youtube my nigga everything man. just forget about everything so Word. i tune into you too and i watch you and i'll be seeing you and i see you when you're going through your joint i see you drinking the wine i'm right. like yo you hear me you know what i'm saying like yeah all right i see you i don't watch so many niggas and you know i what, what you know what what what, what intro, you know what i like what i like is that you covered them boys shout all them boys down there in texas that all them shout out all, to texas for real shout out all the boys fort worth down, dallas yeah, your Fort Worth, Dallas. Houston. I don't know what they're going, they going through, man. But I just see there's a lot going on, man. And I'm an old nigga, man. It's too much going on for me. I try to handle the young <laughs> niggas. Like, I ain't going to front my nigga. You like, look younger than me. Fuck you talking about, man. man this like, nigga, like, like, you, know, like, you move like a young nigga behind the scenes. I know. Fuck all yeah, that, man. Know, like, right. Nah, I fuck with King Vaughn. I fuck with NBA young boy. Word. I fuck with Lil Dirk and them niggas. Know what I mean? So, like, I fuck with the young niggas. Shout you know, out to Chicago. I, Right, and I fuck with a few more other young niggas that I think they, they from out of Brooklyn, man. I think they apes or something. But and I was saying, you know, J Dub, I was just saying the kid um Channel Five and them, you know, I was just seeing him and then he got killed. He got shot in the head, my nigga, like outside. Like and I He was getting one, ready to do a mission too when he got shot. Cause they they on his body, he had a mask on him, he had gloves, and he had an AKA. Yeah, yo, man, they knocked him out of sneakers, man. Right. He was out of one of his sneakers, right? Yeah, you actually correct. They literally, nigga, you ain't just they locked knocked this nigga out of his shoes, bro. His shoes was right across his body, off his feet. Yeah, yeah, because that lady was recording. She was like, "Wake up, baby." She was saying something. So, but you know, so I seen him. I seen him. You know, man, I I I see these dudes down in Texas, man. You know, they going hard, man. They going hard, man. You know, in Texas ain't the state you want to play in, man. You hear me? Nah, everybody got a weapon on them, dirty or or yo, legal. Yo, Texas, man. Texas is the wild, wild west, man. They don't, you don't, listen, they, that's the state you don't fuck with, man. You don't fuck with Texas, man. Texas will fuck you around big time, you know hear I me? Mean? I think you just got a hell of a cool point select, because I don't know, hey, I think we just got the exclusive from the mindset of Snow Billy, because we got a crazy support of Texas in the room and watching, and niggas don't know what you really rock with, so I think you just, Grab you probably been had them as fans, but now they know for sure snow yeah, fucks man. with Texas heavy, bro. And my yeah, little my little Texas brother well. out there right now in yeah, Colleen, man, Texas. You know, so I, I see they shout out to my Mexican nephews out there, my bad, because you just gave love, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like I fuck with Texas hard. I love Texas, man. But you know, te Texas is just a uh uh it's a lone star state, man. They not they don't play in Texas, man. Like Word. you know, that's that's you know, um if I could record with Texas. I don't even think Texas wanted to be part of the United States at one point. Yeah, the Lone Star State, man. You know they they didn't, got they, the, they didn't want to they didn't want to be part of, of the, the, the government, government, right? Go they, deep they if you want to. You yeah, didn't want to be part of that, but they just a different kind of state, man. You know what I mean? Like you see how them boys, you see how them boys going. What's they Cisco? What's they what's them guys' names, man? I be watching them, man. I be watching their videos, man. Shout them dudes out, man. Them whole 
Bugatti world and the 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 the, the oh Channel casino 5. world yeah the casino, casino world, world niggas okay yeah. Billy you a young nigga you up you you up more, more than these niggas in the chat right now shout out to the chat but you you got it yeah I'll these be, these I'll the next fucking, niggas yeah I'll be fucking with them niggas hard man I'll be seeing they about they work man shout all them niggas you, out now you down mind down. if I let them know because you know I I'm actually connected to them behind the scenes you mind if I let little CJ and um even even Murder Gang and even Goyeo, but he mad at me right now. But I think regular shit. But you mind yeah, if I let them know yeah, Billy yeah, fucking yeah. with them heavy? Cause yeah, street yeah. niggas love that other official niggas like you fucking with them, bro. Yeah, I definitely yeah, want like to connect y'all niggas. Yeah, that the niggas know I'm fucking with them niggas heavy, man. I fucking right. with music, man. I fucking with they whole. Billy, this wow. ain't a rap, Billy. I'm about to do like crazy. Like I love my edit videos, and we about to do that. And well, let me sit back, cause. Let the people know as far. I know you you don't want to say it. I'm going to keep trying to throw it out there. Cause, and I don't want you to go deep because business is business. We keep things private. But let them know what they can look forward to, Snow Billy, in the future. Hey, yo, listen. Um, Basically, right now, right, you know, I'm I'm really big on independence, bro. I'm big on independence. I don't like people to think that they can stop somebody from doing what they can't do. I don't like stuff like that, my nigga. So, you know. I'm big on independence, man, and I shepherdize daily on how to basically be independent, you know, zero, zero. Like, like when I say zero, meaning you got to be independent on your own, on your own, on your own dime, meaning Word. you can't let these dudes swindle you. From doing, you know, for a couple. Say that shit again, man. Say that again to the hard headed one. You got, you know, you got, you got to be, you got to be independent on your own zero, man. On your own, on your own, man. Like, you know, from the bottom, man. You know, you got to be independent, man, because, you know, niggas ain't gonna respect it no other way. So, you know, I'm big on independence, man. So when I say that, that's why, you know, shout out to YouTube though, because YouTube, you know, and it's not about the money. It's more about the creativity, your craft, your exposure. You know, that's why I created the Snow Vision Pictures YouTube page, you know, from the Snow Billy Television that um television joint because I want to show everybody that you know, being where I come from, don't let them say you can't make it or you can't change or you can't do something. I I'm I'm I come from the projects though, but I'm an author at the end of the day. You know, with a best seller right here. Word. It's a best seller and it's worth and it's worth some money right now. To not even give it up. Like some that. money, nigga. Some money, you know, nigga. That shit, that shit, you know, bro. It's worth way you know, more like, than that, bro. I've been, I've been researching, bro. I'm a journalist at heart, bro. That's worth, bro. You just dropped the haymaker in the game, bro. Like officially, y'all need to go support this book movement. I'm gonna have the links for y'all, but y'all need to know, like everywhere I looked at, this is like the hottest shit people talking about. And they can't wait for certain shit to be exclusive so they can personally get it right away. So this is a gold mine Billy sitting on. Like, you ain't never seen some shit like this, bro. We heard about fucking Dog Pound. We heard about Death Row, all these groups. But we, we got live in the fa- – I'm not even kissing ass, bro. Like, we got somebody that's – even this live right now, bro, this is a movie, bro. Sometimes you kind of like me. I think you don't know how big you are because you just so – you so approachable. Most niggas like you is not approachable. I got to go through your secretary, bodyguards, your other man, and you just, you made yourself so available. And it's like, bro, have you checked your name online? Through the, nah, through the like big publications, bro? Nah, what, what I got to do? I'm just saying, when I'm, I'm I'm more giving you praise, bro. When I check online, you got, because right. I try, when I look at a big publication, I look for who the author is, and I hit them up or whatever. And these people are sedated. So if they're sedated, your name ringing so much that people are trying to know what's the next wave of Snow Billy, what he got going on. No disrespect to Daniel Hernandez, but you the wave of this movement. To keep it real, you the brains behind all this. Yeah, man, you know, I, yeah, I kid, man. What made you select this 6 9 if you don't mind me asking? What made you just see the man and you had that, no, your vision? Like, How your vision came about? Listen, right, 6 9 ain't had nowhere to go, bro. And they couldn't bring him just in a dog pound just to bring him in there. You know what I mean? They got to get authorization through the, you know, through the big home. Be like, yo, because niggas go be like, who the fuck is this kid? Like, where he came from? Like, you just don't bring nobody into the dog pound without, you know, going through the chain of command. Like, you know, going Word. through, you know, they got to go, you know, they just can't say, yo, we going to walk him. Niggas got, niggas got work in here. Niggas got guns in here. 
So right. what kind of stuff in here? You just can't be bringing no outsider. And then, you know, the way he was presenting, you know, he was he was looking crazy, dirty, dingy, like shabby. <laughs> if you look at who Six Nine was before the money came, he was shabby. You know, like he wasn't trying to wear no farm and none of that Word. shit. He didn't understand what that was. He didn't, he didn't understand what none of that Versace. That Versace shit was me. All that Versace that you know, he was carrying my my staff. You know, if you seen him before that, he was just a little, you know, grungy looking kid, man. That's right. why I was like, I'm taking him to the Harry Potter hip hop. You know what <laughs> I mean? You know, not you know because of how he came. So when he came, you know, niggas Some like magic oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm gonna turn this and look, nigga, Snow Billy fuck, the Grand Wizard. <laughs> and that's what I be trying to tell niggas like, you know, but what kills me is this, and I had to write this early on my page. Niggas was like, yo, if you can make him make another one. But I said, that wasn't no, that took years of doing. That took years of putting in work. And it's just that he came as a piece to fit right into it. Right. You know, it, it it was a formula waiting for somebody to drink it. You know what I mean? It, that shit was brewing. It ain't just that, oh, make another one. It don't work right. like that. These people was crazy, my nigga, on how they think this creation thing worked. You know, yeah, you can have a blueprint, but they got to have the person to fit it. It's like I always say, is these five fingers. Word. One finger just don't make a hand, my nigga. You feel me? Nah, you you actually spitting it the correct way, bro. So one finger don't make a hand. Right. One finger don't make a hand. We need so, completion. Right. At the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, man, Um, you know, I knew where I was going with the kid. You know, and then just, you know, I could show all the pictures, man, like, you know, how he was looking, you know, BB belt. Nike windbreaker jacket on, baggy <laughs> pants. Word. Fucking Air Force Ones. Kid was a whole fucking bum. Word. You know, now, was a whole bum, man. Okay. Was a whole bum. I don't so, want to talk more about 6 9 I kind of like, no offense, no disrespect to Daniel Hernandez, but like everybody clearly came here for you. And that says right. a lot of words, bro. I've never seen from your Snoop Dogs all the way to the Biggies. You know what I'm saying? Like, you almost like a Puff Daddy level. Because even though we know Biggie Smalls, we talk about Puffy. Even though we know Snoop and all these people, we talk about Sudge Knight. Like, niggas, I don't care if you're from the suburbs. We want to know that gangster behind this. Like, this is the nigga. I, okay, you cool and all that, but this is the nigga that's the brains. And what what I, I don't want you to go deep on this. Like, what would it cost? Now, nah, let, me, let me switch that. I'm too real to ask that part, but... What are you willing to give out as far as your all to make sure people don't steal your story? Because your story should stay in hands with you giving it. So what would you, like, how do you feel about people that might be stealing part of your, your strategy plan to make the next 6 9 What are you doing to prevent it, and how do you feel about it? Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about that earlier today, man. To be honest, man, it'll never be. I mean, I, I would never, can't, you know, it'll, it'll never say Talk never your before. shit, man to 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 produce another the Harry Potter hip hop. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna use that as a title, Snow. I'm gonna make Yo. a video promoting you, but I'm gonna use that the Harry Potter yeah. hip hop. You you broke that Yo. down to a T. And just put put Shane Stone Billy creates the Harry Potter hip hop. That oh shit. shit. Like, I'm gonna talk to the people and, as I write this yeah. down, bro. Yo, like like see people as I never come well, I don't know if I said it. You know, whatever I say, I'm going to say it over and over again, bro. People right. got to look at, see, people only looking at 6 9 for who he, for who he was right. behaving like a buffoon in front of the camera. No one understands the quiet Daniel, the humble Daniel, the Tell spongy us. Daniel, the Daniel who didn't want to represent the European fashion world. He didn't want to wear that stuff. He wanted to stay grungy. You right. think what I'm saying? Well, like, you got to understand who Daniel was before he became... Can you tell nine. us? Snow, Snow, Snow. I know you got to go. I don't know if you want to save yeah, it for part go. two or not. Okay, damn. I was going to... Hey, y'all. Uh, well, well, I feel my man. Back, listen, hey, y'all give some love to Snow because he didn't have to be here this long. He was supposed to go out 30 minutes to damn near an listen. hour ago. Because hey, I'm going to save that for part two. Y'all going to be who is Daniel and Snow is going to narrate. My bad. I'm going to fall back. Go ahead, Snow. Yeah, you hear me basically, man taking a kid who didn't want much you know he didn't want much you know but when he got a taste that's like 
if you keep giving a dog gravy and gravy and gravy, mm. and a minute he tastes a little bit of steak, he's gonna go bananas. Word. <laughs> and I'm saying, like, you be giving that nigga gravy, man. That nigga be licking that gravy, <laughs> and you put that steak down, he gonna bite your fucking arm, nigga. Shout out the roll from my pit bull back in '96. You ain't lying, yes, nigga. <laughs> you just can't give him the whole steak. If, even if you bring that whole steak by him, he go he go bite your hand off. You gotta Word. give him a piece of the steak and that boy. See, niggas fed him the whole steak, and that shit. He know how to be humble bad. after that, but right? That that's why I say the Harry Potter of hip hop, because of who he was when he came to me. Came right. to me with nothing. He's standing outside, bro. He can't go anywhere. Like you know, I'm bringing you into the 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 gates. I'm bringing you through the doors. Like to them, you looking like Harry Potter to these kids. Yeah. To be real, bro, he had a lot of people to, you got people to this day who still rock with 6 9 and that's because of you, bro. You got dudes who have morals of ethics of snitching and this and that who still say they fuck with 6 9 and I, I look at it as that you the grand bridget of the Harry Potter school of, of magic, bro. You created a brand so strong, niggas can say what they want, call him a snitch. First of all, you all got snitches in your own family that y'all don't call out. Niggas got snitches down on 5th Street you don't call out. So at the end of the day, six nine will always be remembered. But niggas, even if a hundred years go by, niggas gonna remember uh, Shane Hardy, bro, because you created this, bro. Niggas gonna, yeah. you got media, you got record execs going crazy to follow your format. They don't know how to break an artist in this era of social media. So what you, I want you to speak to the execs, because I learned from D, um, hip hop DX and XXL. You got publications watching this channel, so I know they're watching you right now. They're probably gonna drop an article saying you came on the Osmo Hip Hop Live platform. Now speak to the execs, a young A and R. We know they don't exist no more. How do you break an artist in this time of limelight of social media? I know you got a goal. Give a quick rundown, and then I want you to right. sign off of what you got going on again. But I just, I, I'm me, I'm a supporter, bro. I really want to know. But talk to the executives. You know, I, I know. Okay, I'm gonna tell you like this real quick, right? The labels keep guys like me away from them because a regular artist can't afford a person. And not to big myself or none of that, but- Nah, big yourself like, up. No, bro, my, on this my, platform, my, big yourself my, up, bro. We give flowers before y'all die, bro. Big yourself right, up, bro. Fact, feel that. Right. My expertise to bring them to an artist. Like I tell any artist, ask your a and could they put you in a position of retirement? Mm. Go to your a and or your manager and say, yo, can you put me in a position of, reach? can you assist me? Not, I don't believe in help. Can you assist me going towards a position of retirement? And that's what all of, all of, a lot of these a and is buffoon. They'll get you signed all day and you'll be getting <laughs> dropped or they'll push you. But guess what? You'll be working and you'll be working and you'll be working and you'll be sweating and you'll be running and you'll be doing all this. A slave. You'll be working. You did what I'm saying? Right. And that's what they're going to do. They're going to work you. You know, but now when you got a financial marketing strategist behind you, which a lot of these independent artists cannot afford and the labels can afford us and the labels keep us tucked away. You did what I'm saying? In order to keep the artists in debt. You know what I mean? So basically, man, to break another six nine right over the internet and international you're gonna have to do some studying you're gonna have to do some studying you're gonna have to do some studying and you're gonna have to do some strategic planning and movement you know what i mean and it's not gonna happen overnight i'm not saying it ain't gonna happen in a few weeks but it's not gonna happen like oh shit, monday is happening no it's gonna take a few weeks right but you have to know when to strike you have to know when to strike when you're trying to break a new artist like people always so you may i say i can break it i have i know what to do but what a lot of artists don't have and what six nine have was he was he was willing to listen mm -hmm. I need, I need, I need to learn. I need to learn too, Snow. So you tell, keep going. But I'm a talking ass nigga. But you said no. the key thing. He need to learn to listen. Y'all hear you know, that he was, chat room? He was, he was willing to listen. So being willing to listen, and and you know it could some, you know you could listen, but be aware. You know it was one point for him. He was so much willing to listen. 
he forgot to be in the way. And when you forget to be in the way, then other things can take place. So, you know, with me and Chris, he was willing to listen. And this is why we knew what we was going with him, especially, you know, like, there's going to never be another Harry Potter of hip hop. Like, there will never be another, like, there will never be another Harry Potter book. Yeah, he put me in the show. Right, my bad. Snow, Um, before you get off, like, one thing I like to do, hold on, Wayne, I don't know if you can hear me, bro. Um, I want to give this young man in the room right now, I know... I didn't want to have a whole lot of motherfuckers hopping in this shit. Right Hold on, Wayne. I need you to. I need you to speak. I didn't want to have a hundred people hopping in the room. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I look at you as somebody that can elevate my platform. But not. Let me mute him for a little bit. Hey, Wayne, if you let it, I'm gonna mute you, bro. I gotta be there. Yeah, get your get your shit ready, cause I'm gonna let you ask a question. It's uh snow, cause I know a lot of people don't get this chance, so you should be honored by this. Not cause of me, cause of him. Um, you know, I'm very respectful. I want people to be comfortable. Unfortunately, trolls took over the internet. And I know we got great people who want to ask you real questions, but I never want to give light to no fucking troll. And unfortunately, because trolls are winning, I got to make sure I, I, I know other people will do interviews with you. I'm not throwing shots. They allow eight motherfuckers to be in with you. I feel like, nigga, you got greatness in the room, bro. It's not me dick riding. You got greatness right, in the nah. room. You got to have a level of professionalism about yourself. So I don't let certain just dickheads come in. But this nigga you see in the room, you know, we had like a real nigga conversation today. And he made me think about you today and some of the questioning. So, I, hey, Wayne, any question you got for Snow, but be respectful, which he will. Because um, I know you got to leave, and I promise my nigga this. And because of techno right. difficulties, I can't, my Haitian accent, I can't pronounce that. But we had difficulties. I wish he would have been on the platform with you. But I said to myself, I want you to be perfect on the platform. So I, it's not like I blocked him, but here he goes. His name is Black Wayne. I'll, I'll get you guys because you I know you interested in the young bulls who's going crazy behind the scenes. This my nigga edits professional. He got the game on lot with the Instagram. But I just want to introduce him to you. But Wayne, go ahead and ask the OG a question, bro. Okay, what's happening? What's happening, Snow? What's happening? Yeah. What's happening, baby? Hey, look, bro. I'm gonna tell you like this. I kind of like, you know. I was, okay, I wasn't too much in tune with what was really going on with your situation until about probably about a month ago. Right. But since but since then, I've been like diving deep into that shit. I just really want to know what was the whole falling out with you and six nine for in the first place. He he wasn't listening to your whole interview. My man had to step okay. out. Sorry about Listen, that. I wasn't even hear the whole interview and shit because I had to go. He wanted to become Treyway. And my thing was the gang thing ain't gonna be good for you, not for what I'm taking you to. You right, know? because look, you know but when you I first heard it. right? With me not being there every night sleeping with them, you know what I mean? He started to fall in love with the gang culture, which I should have took him home with me. You know, listen to me, bro. You, you know, my, my, my apologies, but when I first started listening to 6 9 bro, I started listening to 6 9 because my son was always listening to Trippy Red. And he got right. me on 6 9 through Trippy Red, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, I used to fucking let Trippy Red because she was banging like a motherfucker in my car. And I'm like, and that's how I got on 6 9 because of that culture. And then when he got on that gang shit, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of stopped listening to 6 9 when he got on that gang shit. Yeah. I liked so. it better when he was, I liked it better when he was with Trippy, with that, with that type of scene. That was more his, right. his, more his style. Right. That's where the rainbow hair color come from. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, when, I basically told him, like, yo, we're not putting you in the whip. I guess, you know, it was some of them nights niggas was trying to brainwash him. And he felt like, you know, getting me out the way. You know, now he can run around and do what he felt he comfortable doing, screaming and all the blood antics and follow protocol. Shit, I taught him. Shit, I taught Shadi. We mm. didn't do death row. You know what I mean? Like, he just took the positive image I had from him and just went, Completely negative with the shit. Hey man, salute to you, man, and shout out to everybody, man. That survived them shots, man. I'm a survivor too, bro. But that one that you survived to the back of the neck, boy, that's man. Look, listen to me, man. That's some shit right there. You feel me? And motherfuckers, uh, we all been shot up here, Billy. My bad, I had to cut up and say that because he shared his story too. We all been shot. That's why we kind of relate to you a whole lot. This ain't the trolls, right. man. Go ahead, Wayne. My bad. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, look, bro. This platform is for us to express what's going on out there in the streets because this shit is from the streets. You ain't going to, like, on some real shit, I believe we're going to figure out who fucking killed Pop Smoke before anybody else. Just because we the streets and, and that's, where, that's where this shit comes from. First. 
bro, keep doing what you're doing, my my nigga. I'm definitely gonna support you. I'm gonna get the book too. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get listen, the book. man. You know, you know, right now they, you know, he um, you know, niggas ain't really want this because you know it's things like, you know, like one of the main things like a lot of people don't know the situation that happened at the mansion in California. Talk your you know shit, bro. You know, with Nicki Minaj there. And and Kanye West there, you know, they try to sweep that shit under the rug real quick. Right. <laughs> uh, you can't sweep that. It was bigger than that. Feel what I'm saying? So like it's a lot of shit, even the situation with him and Cass. Them niggas never had beef. Cass, Harv, and Shotty had beef because of you know, fuck with these shit. But they use six nine as a smoke screen. Yeah. Shout out to you too, man. Coming out them fast, man. I got out the fast in sixteen, so so you already right, know that shit is. Bro, I've been, I ain't gonna lie, man. Since you know, I've been going, I've been going to, you know, and I'm not proud of it, but like I told bro earlier, you know, due to my environment and the circumstances led me down certain paths that wasn't right, and you know, I've been going to juvenile jail since. Fucking 13 years old, man. Right. So, <laughs> you know, I grew up, you know, I didn't just go to Rackers Island mm -hmm. or straight upstate or to the penitentiary. Yeah, I, went man. Through, I went through the course from 13, 14. I went from juvenile to adolescence yeah. to the state penitentiary to the federal penitentiary. Like, Definitely. You know, that's how I, I didn't go straight to the feds either. I went, I did Little Wells Town when I was young, and then I did uh, a state time. I did two years in the state, and I just did 32 months in the feds. And shit, you know what I'm saying? So, that's anyway. what happened, man. With me, and, you know, me and Bix never had a problem, was just that you know, now he probably sit back and say, Damn, big bro had a better situation for me. You know, big bro, big bro seen a better like he couldn't see the vision, it ain't that he couldn't see it. But it was like all the madness attracted him. You know what I mean? Like 30 niggas in one room together. That was like <laughs> like the holy grail to him. The studio in the bedroom. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the life. You know, people don't know how he was living in these certain in this situation, you know, which I'm gonna show on the movie, like how we live. In, it, mm. in these conditions, you know what I I'm can't saying? wait for that movie, man. I ain't gonna lie. My bad, y'all. You know, I'm hyped. My heart beat fast as hell for that shit, boy. This be the what? type of shit I be Nigga, nigga I don't watch TV, bro. I need Snow to keep the pressure about, up, bro. My bad. Let me fall back, bro. I'm just letting I'm you know, Snow. I'm about steel sharpening steel, man. We can't get as far as we don't get, man, without teaching each other. You feel me? Um, Snow. Yeah. Uh, my bad, um, the Snow and Wayne. And, and the, I don't want to... Wayne... That's my fault on that because I wanted Snow to have his own platform. I'm gonna edit certain parts of the show, no, but I well, definitely. Man, look, but I'm gonna keep this part. Was cool, man. Okay, but cool. Everything was cool, man. It was, it was, it was definitely, you know, like I said, man, like whatever, man. We had, man, and it's a lot, you know. Some things I'm gonna be able to elaborate on. Some things that you gotta get in the book, and other things, you know, in time we gonna touch on and. You know, you know, these guys know, like, you see when Shotty did his interview, he ain't mentioned me because he know what time it is. Like, <laughs> Real like, niggas you know, pee game on that. Hey, Snow, I'm, all I'm going to say is go read the comments again. Real niggas paid attention to that, bro. Right. Right. Real you niggas paid attention. Fucking, you know, he you ain't never mentioned me in that interview he did with old girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, her brother was my henchman. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like, he, he ain't mentioned me because, again, like y'all niggas did, y'all niggas, y'all niggas let some bullshit kid swindle y'all. Like he controlled y'all. You know what I mean? Over what he promised. You know, how y'all gonna try to remove the big homie off of his promise? You know what I'm saying? Word. You know what I mean? Like, 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 you know, after everything came out, because some things I was shocked to. You know what I mean? That he said, like, you know, like. Like he, like he actually kept trying to talk me to stay longer, so niggas could try to kill me there. Remember, he said he tried right. to prolong the situation. Word. And he knew niggas was coming with guns. He did say that he knew part. That's the main part he went deep right. on. He, right. right. He said that he tried to prolong the situation, but 
but I cut the FaceTime off early. Right. So in other words, you trying to set me up from the door. It just saying go down the way you wanted to go down right then and there. And it caught up to me later. But off of your word, like you admitted to this, like, come on, bro, this shit is real. You know, you 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 got with the crew and plotted to assassinate me and these dickheads listen to a kid that was old enough to be their son. Mm. Yeah, you going deep. Take out, I, to take, the, to take snow, out. snow, the journalists in me want you to stop. Like, no offense to the chat. Like, I, I'm smart. I know your story is crazy. I don't want you to say too much, but go ahead. I'm, not, I'm just saying okay. to take out the person that's going to make you forever. Not the person that's writing a check, but the person that's getting you across the bridge to get the check. How you gonna Word. try to take him out? It's crazy, my nigga. Man, hey Snow, I know when to stop yeah. it because, bro, you yeah. we at eleven o nigga Snow. Let me put you back on the screen. We at eleven o two, bro, yeah. and I see how much times you give other niggas that are way bigger than my channel. You be fucking putting these niggas on the fucking time, bro, and. Honestly, my wife is watching. My family's watching. Shout out to that. You got a lot of Africans yeah, yeah, and UK niggas out, watching. Man. Yeah, shout the whole UK out. Shout the whole Africa out, man. I'm trying to come to Word. Ghana. Um, shout a nigga, they out. love you. You need to go to my Facebook. These Africans go crazy for you, bro. They no, they yeah. they wanted to fucking put me on the the fucking stones, bro. When you ain't showed up, the Africans. I don't know what's going on with hip hop in Africa. But Snow is the name that's ringing bell right now. Shout the whole Africa out, man. The whole Africa. We coming over there, man. Word up. We coming Word. to Africa. For real, though. Like, shout everybody out overseas, man. England, Norway, Switzerland, Slovakia, Germany. Middle East. Oh, they Middle fuck with you heavy. Whole, my, all my Iraq shout family. The whole, shout the whole Middle East out, man. I'm glad y'all tuning in, man. Shout Libya out, Kuwait, Jordan. The females going crazy for snow. Hey, females in the room, let us know what y'all feeling about the nigga. Like, I ain't trying to be like extra saucy or whatnot because I'm drinking, Whoa. but I get the emails with the female. Hey, get this nigga this number. And hey, if y'all feel like giving the numbers, I'll throw it to snow. And that's on him if he called back. Hey, yo, I don't know. Right? Other females, man. Too much love, man. Tune in. I'm keeping you posted, bro. Like, you know, because you know I'm going in production with this shit, man. I mm. just want people to really understand. You know, you know, I remember this, and I'm going to leave off with this, bro. Go ahead. And take your time, man. That's, there's some dudes that's going to see this, and they was with me. I was on Rackers Island, right? <clears throat> and I'm in the um High Restraint House, like Captain Restraint House, all the problematic. Free all the guys in the island. I had to say you know, that, um, the house I'm in is where all the problematic inmates is there that have been on Rackers Island three, four years fighting murder cases, right. um, kidnappings, all kind of fucking case. They got all the blood guys in this house. It's about 30 of us in here. They from different sets. They young. They fucking crazy. You know, but, you know, everybody got their status. So I'm in there living with them. You know what I mean? Love them guys. Oh, I love them guys. Marlo, the Mac Baller, Platinum from the Bronx. That's the Dirty Money, big homie. My cousin B.I., Mac Baller, um, Rail, Sex Money Murder. So much of the homies, man, from that was with me. I love them guys, man. I love them, man. Right. Um, I love them, man. Oh, I love them so much. Oh, um, my son from Harlem. Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, man. He dirty take, money, too. Yeah. Take um, your time, wait, man. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. It's my heart too, man. Damn. But listen, right? I was with all these guys, but right? he was all in the same house. And I was like, yo, man, I'm writing a book on this shit, man. Niggas was like, yo, big homie, what you mean you writing a book? What kind of book you gonna write? I used to be happy. I used to have a neck brace so that was hair wrapped. <laughs> like, yo, I my arm was in the slang. I'm like, yo, write a book. Niggas ain't really know what it was. Niggas just niggas don't know about the Takashi. Niggas just hear me. I got shot and went right to jail. So <laughs> when niggas, niggas don't really know what's going on, niggas just like, yo, oh, that's the big homie. That's the, you know, oh, he got hit. You know, niggas see me. I come on the bus, niggas like, niggas be talking about me. And then I, you know, I come on the bus and somebody be like, yo, that's him right there. 
and I was running the whole, whole world. So niggas ain't really knew that it was still fresh. But now that time then went on, now I could revamp it and say I was with niggas and I used to be like, yo, write a book about this shit, man. And niggas ain't really understand, like, yo, what you mean writing a book, blood? How you gonna write a book about this? This shit gonna be crazy work. How you gonna do that? Like, how you gonna write it? I'm like, yo, it's a lot, man. And I know the bros that was with me, man. Them, them, them nights and them soup nights and coffee right. morning drinks. Hard times, man. The book is here, man. Hear me? Oh, man. Y'all look at the book right yo, quick, man. Yo, shout my bro Inchi out, man. Go shout ahead, talk. Go ahead. Shout bro. him out right quick, bro. Go ahead, shout bro. My, shout my bro Inchi out, man. Yo, he, yo, he knew true, but. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm with my homies, though, but, like, I'm old head nigga, man. Like, I drink my coffee in the morning, I read my paper, you know, I catch my show. Right. You know, and I get ready, you know, I mean, I've been drilling all my life, you feel me? Word. So, so even in that situation, being shot up, man, them niggas put me in population, bro. Like, I ain't get to go no medical unit or nothing, my nigga. Like, niggas threw me in the nasty pens, man, with open wounds and everything, bro. Real talk, because medical overrule everything whatever medical say that's what they do medical Word. is the medical medical overrule everything now you hear me snow my bad i'm hearing you Gotti showing you love you know because he part of the team and he, you know what i'm saying so shout out to Gotti for throwing shout you my number Gotti. so he can know i appreciate the homie yeah, too yeah, so. man, shout out Shout out to the bro Gotti. That's the commission right there. Shout out you know, to the commission. Bro. Hey, we taking Shout over, Snow. Commission. Hey, yeah, if you no, a weak nigga no. on YouTube, hey, move out the yeah. way, man. Hey, Black Wayne, you going to be part yeah. of this movement. Hey, if you move a weak nigga in this YouTube shit, move the fuck out the way, man. It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, it's a brand what, new yo. time in YouTube, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. I'm going to tell you I'm gonna tell you what made me really... <laughs> bro, you should see I, the exclusive clip I'm getting yo, right now. God. Hold on, Wayne. Hold on, Wayne. Let's Snow talk, but shout out to Wayne. Go ahead, Snow. And yo, when I sent Blackout Network, I sent him to the upper, the YouTube heaven. Fuck Blackout Network. I said, when yo. I found out you hate my enemies, Snow, when I found yo. out you don't rock with my enemies, bro, let me I shut up, man. Yo. That nigga play games. I sent that nigga to the ballroom, you heard? Give that nigga a Frank. <laughs> sent that nigga, I sent that nigga to the Frank pot. He was the first Frank pot video Bags. Ago before the stand was up. <laughs> I told that nigga, hey, Snow, I told Black, shout out to Gotti. He told Black this because Gotti made Black. If you want to know why I'm telling you, reach out to Gotti and shout out to Gotti. Because this nigga Black, I said, yo, we got a lot of cornballs on YouTube. Why you keep getting out at the real niggas like Snow? You got damn near 200 about this, videos about this nigga, but you dick sucking all these other niggas. Like, fall back, son. And God is so real. I clicked oh, on a nigga man. channel one day, and I'm like, oh, shit. The nigga went to the freight stand. <laughs> yo, yo. I sent that nigga to Frank Stan Heaven, my nigga, early. <laughs> rest in peace to Black. Hey, all of y'all put Franks yo, in yo, the chat listen, and say rest yo, in listen, peace listen. to Blackout. You know what's crazy, right? <laughs> I, I, I was telling the nigga, I'm like, yo, bro, you got to chill out. The nigga thought I couldn't. He, he ain't think my arms reached that long. Right, right. I said, yo, bro, you going to wake up one morning and you going to try to go to your YouTube. That shit going to be gone. That nigga laughed so <laughs> That nigga laughs so hard. <laughs> Yo, nigga laughs. Never mind me, man. The nigga laughs so hard, right? So yeah. I, the nigga. I let the nigga laugh. He fell on the floor. <laughs> Big old kicked the legs in the air. There's some whole cartoon shit on me, my nigga. Word. So I'm looking at this nigga like, oh, all right, all right, he, think, he think this shit is a game, I see. Right. He, yo, I couldn't stop the nigga. I couldn't stop the nigga from laughing, my nigga. It was like he was contagious. Nigga, you got me I'm, cracking up right now. I'm trying to be professional yo, and shit. I said, yo, bro. I said, yo, you finished? And he was still like saying he finished just so he wanted to hear what I had to say. But he wasn't finished. He was still laughing. I said, yo, bro, you know what? Don't worry about it. Because tomorrow, you ain't going to have no more links, nothing. And he fell out. A nigga Word. woke up the next morning, bro. I had the video made. Dum, <laughs> dum, dum, dum. Walking of the dead, my nigga. The nigga became a zombie in a heartbeat, bro. Yeah. I be seeing him snow. He be trying to get on nigga's panel, right? And he yeah, thought he, I, he can't get two subscribers to save his life, snow. You made that to, nigga. That nigga sure. When he prayed to God, 
he should look at a picture of snow and pray to snow. The nigga went from two subscribers to almost 20,000 because of you, bro. That now he praying the snow pictures everywhere. Nigga doing to, voodoo sessions and shit. Yo, I had to trump that nigga, man. I had to trump him, you heard? Word. I couldn't, I couldn't get no permission. I had to zap him out, you hear me? Word. Zap him, whole shit. He said, poof, be <laughs> gone. <laughs> shit just... Then, I seen you did a video like yo blackout. Yeah, I don't like, bro. I real don't respect. Um, we don't respect the fakes over here, Snow. Like I, I was bro. looking at. I wasn't even dick riding you too, bro, because I, I hit up the I nigga know, like. I, I know, I know, I know. I said yo, but I was, I was crying, my nigga. When I say I was laughing, yo, I was laughing so hard because right, no one, no one remembers this because no one's seen this. Nobody blackout. knows the nigga. They only Wait, know listen. his channel because of you, yo. bro. Bro, listen. Nobody seen what he was doing to me. You hear me? Word. He was being a thorn. And I said, yo, yo, I said, you playing with me. And he kept just, I said, yo, he ain't gonna never have a YouTube page. You just, everything is gonna, he said, it's going back to work. I said, you made a great idea, man. Word. You know, you could have saved yourself. You should have, what's that commercial? The general? <laughs> he could have saved yourself a lot of fucking trouble. <laughs> Oh God! With the general, <laughs> my nigga said the general, nigga. You you the spokesperson for the general insurance oh, commercials, nigga. On oh, game for real, bro. I warned him, Snow. I said you about to you about to be a cash. My bad, Wayne. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I said what he said. All I can think about is Shaq and this short ass cartoon yeah, general yeah, and shit. Nigga, this, this I swear crazy. I thought of a Shaq when the nigga said that, bro. Cause what you doing right now, bro? You would think the nigga would be like. Thank you, Snow. You made me go from two thousand—I mean, two, two subscribers, little, literally two subscribers, bro—to twenty thousand in under a month. I would be like, Snow, you well, want some of this money I'm yeah, getting, bro? Feat. I don't, that's your whole feet. That's right. a whole feet. I, I deleted my uh, Instagram for having fifteen thousand subscribers after I got indicted, my nigga. So that's a that's a feat. Bro, he reached a feet, and instead of him giving praise to the OG, you don't got to dig right nobody name, but, but I really believe, bro, the way human beings should be, bro. You should honor and respect. Like, you should be honorable, bro. And I looked at the nigga never was even honorable if he made videos about you, Snow. So I don't mean to give the nigga. We giving him some shine right now because he got no content. He not creative. I knew he's dead, bro. Educational purpose. The nigga yeah, can't come yeah, back, yeah. bro. I, yeah, I just, want, I, just, I just want the, you know, the YouTube community know that, man. Um. We come into the platform with the commission. Word. The, the commission is forming. Nigga, I'll put that trigger and, for you, Snow. That's and, all you need to know. And, Wayne and, will pull the trigger. And, Nigga, we got no, we got look, goonies behind look, you. We got look, we got 300 look. souls in Haiti. Look. We got little Haiti niggas watching you. And because the yeah. big homie blessed one said it, you got Haitians over here will ride for you, my nigga. You come to Florida, you'll be protected. Nigga, well, I don't want you to be on no sucking shit, so we can't keep the weapons, allegedly. <laughs> But right, nigga, right, you right, got right, niggas right, down right. here that love you, nigga, because yep, niggas go through hardship. Too, I, I'm talking right now because I'm saucy, but I need you to know this in front of the world, bro. You gave me a life doing this live again, bro. Like, I hate the trolls to, to uh, like a passion. I hate the trolls, bro. But I watch right. how you handle them, bro. So I said, nigga, oh, yeah, why don't I, you make yeah. them part of your content? Go ahead, bro. Oh, they throwing yeah. the Franks like crazy for you, bro. Hey, yo, hey, yo you know, I fuck, I spell money. You hear me? Yo. I, I hear you. This angle, I'm. My phone will die, so but listen. I feel you, bro. Listen. Oh, don't, don't, yo, don't. You bless us enough, bro. Don't yo, worry. Shout out to the trolls, man. Yo, when they, yo, you know when I get them? When they come into my DMs. That's when I make mm. them tap out. <laughs> I make them tap. My nigga, they tap out. Listen. And this ain't on no tough, man. Shit, make them tap nigga. out. <laughs> my nigga, niggas be like, yo, that's enough, man. I'm good. I, I shoot the eyes out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, I copy your body, Snow. We made we made one tap out two nights ago, well, a night and a half ago. Nigga, Shout out to NOYB. <laughs> I be getting them with the gotcha. See, and I don't, my nigga, listen. But you know what, man? We need the trolls, man. It's like water. Word. Water. We need the trolls. Man. We need the trolls. them. We need them. I'm we learning need that. Trolls, man. So. You know, shout out to the trolls, though, man. Like, shout out to all the like, trolls, man. Hey, yo, you know what, man? Um, next time we do it, I'm gonna introduce some other shit. But I just want the YouTube to know that we um we coming, man, with the six family com YouTube commission. Mm. Six families, man, and um, 
those that's not part of the six families would have to be part of the crews of the six families. Right. And um um we're gonna be making decisions, man, on you know how this YouTube world and our genre is being conducted, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout NBA young boy out though. You know, um Shout out to NBA Youngboy. I got reached by some of his people over videos I made. So let me say that too. Shout out to NBA Youngboy. He did a real nigga move behind the scenes. So I'm glad you brought that up. But continue, bro. Yeah, shut him out. You know, we gonna um we go we go we gonna form this thing right, man. And you know, once we get all the families together, we gonna do a zoom, we're gonna do a stream, y'all, we gonna all talk. And um we moving as a as a commission, man, in this YouTube world. So word. Shout all the YouTube world out, man. Shout everybody in the YouTube world, man. Um, shout Crown Prince TV out. Shout, you know, Feed the Wolves, um, Zeke T Zeke TV, um, Bullets Gotti. Shout out to Bullets Gotti. Y'all go subscribe. Snow Vision Pictures. Don't Snow, worry, Snow behind. You can say everything you got going on, but I want to work with you behind All the scenes. I'm gonna call you to the link so I can promote it properly. I, I need to do it justice with an edit video with all your links and everything you got going on. We'll chop up, you know, my word is bond because I want to do it right. All right, listen, man. I gotta go, man. But um, you know, it was a pleasure, man. Let's do this shit again. Shout blackout, man. Bro, he said shout out blackout. <laughs> <laughs> you a real nigga. <laughs> Yo, I mean, yeah, man. You know that nigga had no like, you know, had to had to. You know what I mean, like, you know, I don't know. Say no more. Say no more. Crazy, Say no more. <laughs> like I had to, like, you know, and I just want to use him as an example. Fact. I say him not to glorify, but to use him as an example. Word. That if those in the YouTube community talk that shit, snow. The guidelines of the six family commission. Word. You're going to end up like blackout. You're going to eat a Frank, nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you now. And for those that, a lot of y'all just came, y'all knew. <laughs> y'all knew. <laughs> Trust me. Don't sell them Trust nothing, me. bro. Let, let it let it sneak up on them. <laughs> Yo, y'all knew. And I know y'all y'all got the same mentality <laughs> blackout had. Hear me? Is is the same man? Ooh. Trust me, I, I seen it. I heard the laugh. I I I I I I, heard, I seen the videos. Word. I'm telling you now. I'm giving you a little heads up. You're gonna end up like him. So I'm gonna run it real quick before I get up out of here. We're doing the six family YouTube commission. Six families. Then it's gonna be crews. Those who don't make the families will become part of the crews. If you don't get down with the crew, then more likely you're gonna end up like black, you're gonna end up like him. Some way, somehow, it's gonna be some structure to this platform and we all right. coming together as a family. Because again, one finger don't make a hand. Mm. This we add another hand, then we add in crews. So Right now, we got the six families together. Now we got to get the crews. There's going to be some guys that's rebellious, and there's going to be some guys that's already Frank heads, which I already got their name on the list. We know how to get the rebellious niggas right. Hey, hey, we know how to get them right, Snow. Uh, Yo, listen, I am waiting so bad, bro. (laughs) I found a new trick to get them out the way early, bro. I'm going to talk you behind the scenes with that. I found a new trick, bro. Play nice. Listen, trolls, you can troll and all that. But play nice, Tro. That's all I'm going to say. Nigga, yeah. be careful, nigga. I mean, niggas is going to understand how I fail to have a program every day. And then one day, that whole shit, it's just like Corona. Blackout. <laughs> it's just like Corona. You had a, you was balling all day. You was moving, doing your thing. And then they just Man. put the stop on it. Boom. Now, take that and drop it down a few levels. Imagine you jumping on your app, oh, 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 and then it's just, boom. Who? Now you got it (laughs) going over saying, yo, yo, that was me. 
Hey, you know what hurt them? If you put their name in Google, that shit don't even come up no more. Nigga's invisible, bro. You erase their whole history, nigga. <laughs> nigga. It's like nigga didn't even exist no more, Snow. Snow, nigga, nigga trying to nigga trying to get some pussy and be like, hey, mom, I got I got the blackout. She like, I look you up. What the fuck is blackout and shit? Nigga, do not become blackout. Be very right. respectful to real niggas. Right, now you can right. troll the bitch niggas, but with real niggas like this, come bless the right, platform. Right, man, you right, you could disagree, man. but be fucking right, respectful. Right, right, right. You know, that's right. Fair. And you know I'm a, you know I'm a watch niggas snow. You know I already know how much respect I, I reserve, I revere for you, bro. Cause like I've been hit up before. I've been in the military. Like like I'm too real for the YouTube live, bro. I they gave me my live back already, but niggas don't even know Snow Billy is the one who made me do this live shit again. If he ain't connect with me and hit me up, y'all would have never seen me on live again. I don't like giving you bitch ass niggas no type of clout. In real life, I'll knock your fucking jaw out, nigga. In real life, I, I suffer from Napoleon complex, bro. I'm 6'3, but I'm skinny. And I love testing a nigga jaw because I box, nigga. So if I can't reach out a troll, I gotta learn from my OGs like to know how to do y'all. It's more fun to watch yeah, you turn yeah, a ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, that's yo, that's and that's what yo, that's it, man. Listen, when there's a troll that got a platform, Ooh. this is what you gotta do to him, man. And listen, trust me. And I said it before, you know, everybody thought this guy was a, a, a jokester. Yeah, he now he's a jokester, right? You know what I mean? His ass is in a freight pot. And he's pink as you can get him. Right. Bang. Don't pink as fire. you can get him. He pink as a motherfucker, you hear me? Bro, shout out to you for fatherhood, bro. We love that on a platform to let you know that, bro, because everybody know I got a football team of kids. That's why we couldn't do the interview yesterday. But, hey, bro, honestly, Snow, you came back to do this interview for the people. Look at the – well, you can't read the chat, but forget. You know I got respect for you, but the people love what you just did, bro. Shout out to you, bro. Shout everybody out, man. Yo, hit me up. I got to go, bro. Yo, Mm. I fucks with you, man. Hit me up, man. Say Hit no more. Up. I'm going to holler at you later on, man. It was Word. a pleasure, y'all. Shout Down, out to the man. commission. Shout, Shout out to Snow. 69 Shots. The book coming. Go Bye. get it. The links will be down you know everywhere. I will ain't promote no, it. Go no, get no, it. No. Again, man, the creator of the Harry Potter hip-hop. <laughs> it'll never be another Harry Potter of hip-hop. And to understand that, the whole significance, tune into the visuals. In the story, that I'm gonna break it all down. I broke some of it down for the Brody man. You just gotta understand, man. When I say the happy part of hip hop, man, if you're not a J.K. Rowling fan, you probably won't even understand what I'm saying right now. Word, honest man. If you're not a J.K. Rowling fan, you're not gonna understand. You are the you you the street J.K. Rowling, bro. That's all you need to know. You the next novelist in this bitch, bro. Right, fuck bro. that, bro. I'm gonna say, right. I'm gonna say it, bro. Fuck right. that Harry Potter shit. I'm from the streets, my nigga. Right. I need to read some shit that make me remember back in '94, nigga. Remember right. back in '97 right. when Mama was crying because they locked us up at Eckerd's. Right. Y'all niggas don't know Eckerd's. Y'all know CVS and shit. We still in Ninja Turtle tours at Eckerd's. And let me be quiet. I'm saying too much, but Snow, hey, yeah. you, you make my energy up, nigga. I, I need you, bro. I'm gonna keep I it a stack, bro. Here, bro, I'm here, bro. I'm here, but I'm feeling that man because you know. Now y'all know, man, the Harry Potter of hip hop, man. <laughs> and to understand that, you got to know the Harry Potter series. And that's Word. who Sick Nine was, man. He was my Harry Potter, man. That's it, man. Yo, I'm out, bro. Hi, Thank man. you, Snow. I'm going to do a little after show for 30 minutes, but salute to you, Snow. I'm going right. to call you after the after show because you don't even know, bro. I've been looked at you as respectful, bro. But you saved my life because niggas thought I was a clout chaser for that last interview. But what you did, you didn't have to do no interview no more. We got a real relationship know, behind the scene. That was on me, but, my nigga. No, no, no. Don't, hey, nigga, fuck the trolls. Nigga, real, real, bro, don't say that, bro. You snow, bro. Don't say all that, bro. You good. If a nigga didn't like that, suck a dick, nigga. Go eat a Frank, nigga. Fuck that. Nigga, real niggas don't need to explain, bro. Yeah, now they got it. Do your thing, man. Hit me up later on, brody. I got you, bro. And the wifey love you, nigga. Fuck her, bro. But she love you a little too much, nigga. But shout out the wifey. You see, I know she your number one fan. She's staring at you right now. I say it. Shout out the wifey. Shout out, Shout out, bro. Hey, hey, say this for me. Say Fabiola, stay safe, baby. Fabiola, stay safe, baby. (laughs) All right? Yo, I'm out, man.
Salute, Snow. Hey, stay peace, bro. Bye, bro.